Welcome to the Feed Our Minds podcast. With me is the host of the most, the captain, our captain, your captain, Aaron Nova. As always, that sweet, sweet voice in the background behind the camera is the mother of my dragons, Chef Candy. And today we have the king of Florida wrestling, Daniel Starling. This is Feed Our Minds. Hell yeah, brother. This is the Feed Our Minds podcast. That was an incredible intro that we're going to let run like 30 times before we decide to do something cooler. I made it. Aaron didn't do crap, but he is here as always to be the amazing hetero life mate that I need right now. Uh, with us today is the King of Wrestling, Daniel Starling, King of Florida Wrestling, King of Florida to be wrestling. King of Wrestling. Um, that's going to, Nova's going to give you a... Uh, in an intellectual fucking take on the king of wrestling and why I shouldn't have said that later. Yeah, you're gonna have to hear about that. But uh, yeah. no, but you got you. You look like you got something you want to send me, like, like a little joke ski you were trying to let out. Is yeah. there heat? Uh, well, you know, Starling, I just I'm glad to have you. Welcome to the show. We're gonna enjoy a lovely meal prepared by Candy. I'm gonna ask you some questions, man. Some hard questions. Yeah, bud. I just want to know what you're thinking. Tell me what's on your mind. What's the heat? That was incredible. I when you like two or three days ago when I posted the first promo for this crap online, like he said he was gonna like, I'm gonna ask you what's the heat. And you let this simmer for like three days. And I tell you, letting that little joke there simmer for three days made it so much better. Just, just, I, woo! That was that was good, man. You've done better. Thank you. You've done better. <laughs> So we don't, don't say he. We don't we say good. First off, hold up. We don't say grace when we, you know. You're right. Grace. <laughs> um, well, first off, what's the? Let me paint another background picture real quick. Um, as you guys might know, I own a wrestling company. Um, you're the mid card champ. He's the champ champ, and you came on here like, what's the heat mid card? He took the belt from my guy, but you're on here. What's the heat? There's a, there's a hierarchy to heat, and you're after us. The world's Thank champion. you. Worlds. Because we're the only GCW in the world. <laughs> well, I'm kind of like, you know. That's <laughs> awesome. <clears throat> now, go ahead. What's the heat? The workhorse champion. I don't, I don't actually know what storyline this is from, so what's the heat? So Somebody tell me. I wish I knew. I So I went home yesterday, mm -hmm. took a nap. Is this really yesterday, or were like, this is filming yesterday? No, shoot yesterday, <laughs> went home. Took a nap, woke up this morning for work. Wow. To work. Three texts about. Um, we just fucking lost our audio. Thank God I'm recording audio over there, but. Um, While well, Jeremy fixes that. Well, I what's the heat star? Well, since we don't have audio, I'll tell you all of you. No, 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 <laughs> We got the audio over here. We're, we're, we're rolling, pal. Oh, well, we're, we've we're, got the audio. I'm going to fix the audio while we we're fix live, the pal. audio. Oh, we're live, pal. Yeah, you <laughs> thought this was going <laughs> to... I've got 42 oh. things recording audio, but... I'm Sid. <laughs> so anyways, <laughs> Nova's going to keep the whole conversation going while the tech guy fixes the tech guy. Yeah, tech guy, go... You know, check it out. You check it out. Check it outside. Like, check it out. Oh. Check it out. Check me Check outside. Me outside. So go ahead, continue telling the story. So yeah, what was the heat, man? You ignore all my messages. I woke up. You want to tell me what's the heat? And you do this thing that you do where you make a flyer for a show that's not happening with my face on it in the frame of, I believe it was SummerSlam 93, 94? 95, brother. Diesel's 95. on it. Yeah, it's the split face diesel. What's the heat? And the heat was with my mattress, my king size white leather bed frame. That's the heat. Brother, we're monetized. Take it easy. Oh, oh man. I, I, I just don't want a, a, a certain sponsor. <laughs> yeah, I know. So now it's definitely not the battery company that we've got back running the backup here in the audio. So, so that's where the whole what's the heat comes from. Oh. How many uh, companies are you actually? This looks so good when I'm fixing things. Like, how many companies are you rocking the belt for right now? Over the month? 
besides yours three, I'm the Pride of Wrestling Florida Heavyweight Champion. I'm the Kingdom of Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, and I'm the uh, the Mayhem on Mills Champion. And then besides four. Well, besides yours, I had. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. My math is incredible, I as you know. That, that was good stuff. I can have belt like that. <laughs> you have one belt right now. How many belts do you have? All of them. You don't have all of them. Every belt. That's uh, with a little bit of a... The know. world heavyweight champion of MSMW. <clears throat> champion of the world. Well, considering I was formerly the world's heavyweight champion of Puerto Rico, <laughs> and... Okay. And the good brother Tyler Uriah is the Intercontinental Heavyweight Gaslighting Champion of the World. Tyler Uriah. Again, this is the second podcast we've spoken of Tyler. He's so, a good brother. Uh, he's, he's like Bigfoot at this point. So we're, we're, we're pretty much is like Kane, you know, the coming of Kane. Tyler Uriah will eventually be on this show. Pretty sure he uh, stole our belt at one point. We were talking about this last week. Stole we did the angle. It? Yeah, we did the angle with the uh, angle? with the backstage fight. Kurt Angle? What we talking about? There's only one Kirk Angle. Um, we did the whole gimmick with the... Um, the gimmick? The gimmick. We did the whole gimmick with the... Uh, with, with the, the deal? brother of the... <laughs> the backstage <laughs> fight with CM Punk. The gimmick with the deal. We did the whole gimmick with the deal with CM Punk. Uh, backstage fighting Luke Perry's son. We did. Jungle Boy, awesome uh, Jack Perry. Was I there for that? You were there for that. I, I was... Uh, yeah, and then we did the whole the security cam footage gimmick. And I beat Jake Payne at Fair and Square. Right, any big, I mean, right Jake in the Payne. middle of the ring. Fair and square, and the the funny thing about that is Jake is now a bad guy. So, and the next show is going to be interesting because you hear that? You know who Chance? gets to uh, you know gets a, a shot at Jake Painter on the next show? Did you see the card yet? No. Pay attention to crap, dude. I don't. I show yeah. up and well, I go to work. You're working Jake Painter on the next show. So enjoy taking all those backbreakers, Doc. Oh. That's going to be uh, I don't know if you know this. No, for just has, remember August did that to you. He's got such experience with a broken back, <laughs> with having his back blown out. Wait a minute. <laughs> He's a professional at having his back broken. So I don't think Jake Painter is glad you. Wait a minute. Hold I'm, on. I'm oh glad you went on with that because I, I thought he was going to stop with having his back blown out. Wait, no. Like, well, hold on. Again, there goes Wait, the monetization. Oh, I'm like carrying the match right there. <laughs> I just gotta work. I just gotta work. Maybe it wasn't the best idea to have Starling the power of the drinking Lord. apple juice the whole show. Oh, and brother, we just started. Okay, so, so anyways, so okay. we're on our. We did just start. We're on minute eleven of the podcast already. We've already had um, audio issues here, down on this gimmick down here. Luckily, we had audio there and over there because I'm a workhorse. Um, so before we just make this again a strictly Horse? wrestling con, con podcast. Um, or cow, maybe? What, 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 what okay, look. Everyone. You're the king of Florida. You're the king of Florida. Wrestling. You know what I am? This isn't like uh, Biker Boys. You're not the king of Florida. I'm the emperor of Florida. You're not the emperor. I'm the ruler. And I'm the boss, and apparently I run the Puerto Rican wrestling emperor. scene in Florida, according to people. Right. Uh, really king, what's a king to an emperor? I've got a full beard. Wow. <laughs> you do. You, you do. Oh, wait, I have <laughs> Probably not going to happen. But, I don't but in Japan, you're a Gajira. We have to point out that he's been in Japan. Yeah, he's in Japan. Japan. Every time. So if you see him with the jacket. Kind of like Tanahashi. It, right. Um, All right, let, let's everybody settle down. So, so, kind of, of, so listen, uh, where, where did the wrestling start? So, what, what made you want to do the wrestling job uh, for the foreseeable here, future? Oh, well, I'll tell you. Is it him? I wasn't him. You saw how bad he was doing. No, with, the, with all due respect, it was way before Nova. I, I grew up watching wrestling, and I was gonna go to college at one point. And my dad's like, "Well, what are you gonna do with your life?" I was like, "What are you gonna do with your life? What are you gonna do?" You it's like, I'd like to be a wrestler, but like, can't go to college for that anymore. Anyway. Well, then I'll go to college. And I moved down here. I sold my '86 Pontiac Fiero. Nice. Paid for the wrestling school. First month's rent at the the apartment. Been here ever since. And who's your first trainer? Jay Lethal. Jay Lethal. Jay Lethal and David Mercury. Jay Lethal, huh? And David Murphy. David Mercury. Mercury. That's what right. I Jay Lethal. Mercury. First time I met Jay Lethal was on a podcast I did with this other guy that we used to know, Mark, or something like that, and he did the, like, the entire podcast in Ric Flair. Yell, and then you got to be quiet. And I have to see it like first time. That thing is amazing. I mean, you probably have people like that. What you used to hear it with them. And then he gave us tickets to ROH. Voice. After that. And, uh, so you were on that show in Mike? That was, yeah. Kazarian's the one that sold me my Jay Lethal shirt. Wow. So, and uh, who else on the hamburger was on the show? 
Cheaper. Uh, consequences. Uh, no, sorry. I almost said consequences. Creep. Punishment Martinez, who is uh, El Champion right now. What year was that? I thought I was in the same building. It's Oof. crazy how we all, like, the weird thing in wrestling in Florida is, like, you'd be in the same place as somebody and you don't realize it until, like, 10 years later. <laughs> You're right. You're right. And I wasn't, I had no, not a single thought in my head to be in wrestling at that point oh, at all. I loved wrestling. I was not going to be a wrestler. I wasn't big enough. Because, you know, I'm. Go ahead. You know what? I'm not how old I am. Oh, I was going to say. I wasn't going to be a wrestler because I grew up in the. In, you know, in the time when wrestlers had to be when wrestling, massive. When wrestling was invented. So the joke last week was 1890, buddy. God, it's Jeremy Gomez there goes. is old. Fantastic. There's the one. Funny story about that. Very funny. About so, Jeremy being old? About me being old? No, no. no. It's kind of rude, bro. About you not being big enough. Oh. My. Ex fiance's grandparents. Is bigger than me? No. Nice. Well, you're pretty good. Thank you. I told them I was going to move to Florida to be a wrestler. First thing they said, you wrestle little people? You're going to be the entree of the giant of the little people? Man. I only hear that all the time. And then eventually he ended up being with the biggest tag team partner in Florida, so see how that worked out. He's like, I don't need to be big, I got back. Yeah, it's talking about me. I've got, there. A, I've got a friend up there. Up there. <laughs> Same. That way. Joe's up there. Look, hey! Hey. So then, uh, when, when exactly did you meet this guy? Was it at a, a show where he was trying to be a space captain? Which is kind of lame, if you ask me, because you know now that now that the actual military branch of space captainry exists, you need to go right up there and be like, "I've been a space I captain for ten years." I will be waiting for that royalty check. Okay. So uh, the innovator. <laughs> and, and I'm gonna break it down on the podcast. Break it down. Oh, I was gonna tell an actor, so I had an idea. Mm-hmm. Captain Nope. Mm. Yeah. Uh, oh, he's with the boys. Right. The boys. Me and Bigfoot himself, Tyler Uriah. Big, the boys. Big, big Tyler Uriah. Healthy. Yeah. Paul, 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 oh, Paul. Possession. I've got footage. Oh, Possession. Oh, Nine times. Oh. Earned it, Paris. What? Yeah. It's in California. You didn't get the real belt. So I got Thank you, Jake. To <laughs> say. <laughs> but, yeah. You know, me Tyler. He's a heel. He took it there. He's a But we're the boys. Safe. The boys. So my thought was, no, it was Captain. But he wants to be a little bit more reality based. Party dad captain. Hmm. Captain's hat, party shirt, you say party, run runner. Party dad captain? Yes. Dad. Yes. Daddy. He would, he would need to have this sex first. Well, I have all of them. Can we say that on this one? Man, the, the I sex. never know these rules anymore. You say, you say, the sex lady is comical? Uh, yes, of course, it's cultural. Uh, but well, culturally. Currently, he doesn't have a haircut, but when he does, <coughs> it's old. I have a haircut. I'm still rocking the worm. So, if you're a Florida promoter, so, you have to have a stupid. So, I cut you off, Jeremy. What? You come on this podcast. Ouch. Here we go. And, uh, you know, you, yeah. you, I'm catching these strays here. You know. I'm doing the Matrix. So I'm like Neo. Were you born yet? What's the heat? <laughs> I feel like there's, you know. So we're building, we're building catchphrase upon catchphrase of Nova on this show. He's gonna have a list soon, like the list. Like I gotta say, I gotta be yeah, Jared. I just, I gotta stop things. talking so I can be through every one of these catchphrases real quick. You want to talk about the heat, Nova? Is the heat? You want to talk about the nuclear uh, heat? This is I, what he's doing right now as the king of Florida wrestling. That he learned that in Japan. So like, <sighs> anyways. Uh, that was it. What he was doing, let me learn you. Because I learned it. He was segue into what's the heat because he knows soon, in about 13 minutes, the first app is coming out, which is crab stuff, pork belly mushrooms. Not that Chef Candy's over here talking about it at all because she likes to be off camera. Come on over here. We might even hear you. Don't get no shot. Miss though. Candy, what is on the menu today? Lovely, what's on the menu today? The appetizer is a uh, smoked blue crab stuffed into a baby portobellos and lots of other good stuff in there. Mm-hmm. So that'll be the appetizer. And the main course is a spaghetti bake with two meats and four cheeses and a little horse. salad on the side. That's six. And four horse cheeses. Panna cotta. Panna cotta. Chocolate panna cotta. Chocolate panna cotta, panna which panna. she has never made before. This episode, and it looks amazing. I told her if she fails at it, we're gonna harass her heavily. This is the exclusive live reaction. Here's the thing: I'm not worried about my way failing at anything. So, yay! Points. How you like that? 
Can you say that about your wife? Yeah. Can you say that about your wife? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know my wife at home right now. <clears throat> What's she doing at home? What would she be doing at home right now, your wife? Laundry. What? The laundry. Wow. You almost made me the pop and break some serious <laughs> age. Screaming, cursing, S on violation. There's a lot of age, Jeremy, you got going on. Let me go ahead and tell you why there's no wife at home right now, and over because you can't say that crap anymore. That's the 80s crap. I don't have a wife at home? No. My God. What if I was married? Uh, laundry. I'll, t- I'll tell you why he can't have the wife. Because he's too good. Because he won't go out with the boys. Here we go. He's not going downtown. Here we he's go. He's not going to the bar ski. I don't think any of the boys actually. Here we go. Well. This episode turned into. You have a you have a girl in your life. I did. Dinner with you my did? pals. I've had quite a few. Okay, wait. Go ahead. Name the boys for me. Go. Dally. Who? Dally. Has a girl. Yeah. A boy. Either or. Girl. Girl. girl? Bitch. Yeah. Go ahead. Bitch is married. Okay. Bitch okay. Is married. okay. Oh, damn. MKA. So hold up. Everybody but you guys. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm married. Okay. Look at the ring on my almost, finger. I was almost married twice. Wrestling got in the way. A wrestling got in the way of getting married. Two time married contender. A wrestling's got in the way of my marriage before too, so I understand this 100% of you are the wrestling Me too. and you're married. My marriage, we yeah. feel for you. I know. Nova's marriage, he doesn't, listen, he doesn't actually like to talk about his wife, international supermodel from Canada. So, you know, she's just, yeah, she just lives in Canada. Hey, now, exactly. let me see the end. What? Hey. What are you, what are you, you want to go, pal? Wow, we have, we're, we're looking at, at, I, uh, cell phones while we're doing a podcast. No, not. I'm checking the time. I have a total excuse. Hey, give me, give me no a call. Let me see so let me let me ask you some real questions here. I'm no gonna get nitty nitty gritty right now. Get right down to the nitty gritty. Where are you from, Starling? Where are you from, Starling? Virginia Beach, Virginia. Uh, Navy? Navy parents? No, no, no. We're near the Navy base, but my family always grew up there. Where's your father from? Virginia. Where's your mother from? Jersey. Moved to Virginia. So she's the Italian. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Jersey Italian. Yeah. That's my guy. So, she says your sister's ass. You ever heard her say that? Oh. Your sister's ass. You're doing that. Does she? No. Not, not, not as often anymore. God, I love that. That is my favorite saying from Jersey, man. Your sister's ass. You're going at. Your sister's ass. You're doing that. <laughs> That's my favorite, dude. Yeah. I, my, I, I, every every Italian friend I have is from Jersey. Oh, like, that's all of them. Now, New York, Jersey. They all think they're from New York, but they're from Jersey. That's the port. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Same thing. Jersey. My mom's proud of me. As well, you should be. Not New Yorker from Jersey. That's, that's, that's you should be. how it is. And she was on The Sopranos at one point? No. No? Okay. Um, that's my actual listen. I'm from Florida, boy. My extent of Jersey, other than, you know, you can be Italian in Jersey, is literally, not figuratively, literally, what I've seen on The Sopranos. Other than that, I know it's the Garden State. So I sure. don't know if there's actually gardens in New Jersey because from down here we just think because our friends from Jersey say they're from New York so much we just picture Jersey as New York. So it's a little different. It's like a if I can compare it to Florida, it's Tampa and Brandon. <laughs> okay, That's pretty good comparison. New York being Tampa, Brandon being New Jersey. So there's still land, a little land available. A little land, a li- but there's also some city. A little like, more laid back. Yep. Okay. I take it to Atlantic City, then it's a whole. Atlanta, my, my knowledge of Atlantic City um, comes from Boardwalk Empire. Thank you. I, I have a sheltered life that revolves around shows that um, the man is on. Who's the man? Who's in? Tied the strings together. Who was in Boardwalk Empire and The Sopranos? Go. Aaron Nova. No, it wasn't Nova. Oh. Who was it? Aaron Nova. Come on, man. Show me your pop knowledge. Tie them together. Who was in Sopranos and Boardwalk Empire? Man, is it James Gandolfini? So I, I've I'll give you a hint. He was a fireman as well. Hmm. Give you a hint. He was a fireman. Goldberg. Okay, he was also in Fargo. Ooh, I did not see Fargo. All right, well, no more Buscemi trivia. My wife didn't for, like that. I, literally no more Buscemi trivia for <laughs> Nova. If it didn't happen on Japanese television, Nova. Hey, 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 hey. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's everybody settle down. All right. We already covered the anime topic last week, too, yeah. as I know none of it, and I've so, seen... No, I, I already told him how I've never watched a single episode of Power Rangers. Don't start. It was on at the same time as Batman animated show was, so no, sorry. I get it. Whole Saturday I, I've, morning block. How do you not... It was like really? the perfect lineup. It was sad. I didn't even know it was on Saturday morning, honestly. Wow. I swear to God. I was watching like... Wait, I'm all, I'm all, I was watching roller games. Could you say that again? At American Gladiators on Saturday morning, bro. 
roller games. How dare you think that I was going to turn Gemini and Nitro and uh, Malibu yeah, and yeah. all those gentlemen Gladiators working out their lives awesome. off for some awesome. power? Hey guys, they you want me to watch old Japanese people redubbed into Power Rangers show instead of American Gladiators? What kind of person are you? Watch it all. Watch it all. I told you roller games is after American Gladiators. <laughs> You don't even remember roller games. Roller derby. No, roller games. Roller derby was like that's even before me. That was like sixties. Oh, roller roller games was the figure eight track with the freaking alligator pit oh, and the fucking wall. I, I can drop that. Let's bring that back. Can we bring that back? Roller games. Every time they try to bring back roller games or some roller derby, or people are just like, hey, it's cool. They're on skates. They're beating each other up. It's wrestling on skates. We got wrestling already. We're done. Violence is awesome. Well, that's like whenever they try to bring back American Gladiators. It just it, it takes off for like half a season, and then they're like, yeah, we're done. Yeah. 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 I'm not going to tell you my new take on American Gladiators because we'll get demonetized. My wife knows exactly. I was I'm not going to drop Border Gladiators on them, the premise of it, but let's just say Border Gladiators would be a great way to figure out who gets to be in the country. Terrible. So, Gladiators was cool. <laughs> I'm doing my best Colombo impression. Right now. <laughs> your best. Do I get to get your hard boiled egg? I love Columbo. Do you need the hard boiled egg? No. Matt was like, what? A hard boiled egg? No, he's he's never I don't know what I'm talking about. I, Columbo, he was a detective uh, TV show. Uh, it was the 70s, right? Did it start in the 60s? It started, uh, the pilot was in the 60s, but it didn't get picked up until the 70s. I watched it in the 90s in the afternoon before the set back. It was on. It was what came on before the cartoon started. It was either Columbo or something else right before Batman Block started. But um, he, he's a, a lieutenant. He was a detective. Detective. Detective Columbo. And he always walked around. He always had a hard-boiled egg. When he was like really serious, he was eating a hard-boiled egg for some reason. It was cool. It was a good show. It, it, oh, very good show. It's on Peacock. I would recommend it. Uh, my only issue with Columbo is towards the later season because he never lost. Like he solved every case. Same guy. One guy. Great. Same car. Dog named Dog. <laughs> Love Columbo. Great. It's great. Just <laughs> some. But when we're in the nineties. Same Columbo from the 70s. Mm -hmm. When they find out there's a detective on the case and they go, it's Lieutenant Columbo. The fact that the the culprit didn't just let the bowels go, yeah. it feels wrong. Like he solved every case. But that, was, ever. That, but that was every detective show back then. That was Murder She Wrote, that was the Rockford Files, yeah. that was Columbo, that was you know, but back then the good guy was one. Yeah. Didn't case. matter how many times over the good guy won. The good guy you was know, over. So. Good guy Columbo was, was over. cool though. He was like I don't know. He looked like a mix between Charles Bronson and the detective. Like he, a, he looked like my grandpa. Yeah. <laughs> and then the shows like that spawn spawn shows like uh what's that show that Tony Shalhoub was on where he always Shaloub. solved ca cases? Tony Shalhoub. Tony Shalhoub. He's in Men in Black. His face gets shot. It's strange. Tony Shalhoub. He's in that. Candy, what's the show that Tony yeah, Shalhoub where, where he's like that detective guy? I can't remember. Who was he in Men in Black? He was the arms dealer guy, the guy in the store. That oh, okay. With that the, he shoots his head off and it just grows back. Yeah. In the, after that, he does a detective show where he's very particular. I don't know. Monk. I don't, I don't know. If, Monk. Thank you very much, Monk. Oh, yeah. I, I, look, I got one, one show. Shows like Monk. Boom. Got one show. Amazing. Got there it is. That's why he's the captain, and that's why I expected to know everything about Men in Black, Star Trek, and Star Wars. Oh, yeah. He doesn't. <laughs> he said Star. Oh, I got an instant. He said Men in Black. Did you know he doesn't like Star Wars and Star Trek? I don't fan. like it. I'm just not a big like. I'm not in the fandom. You know, I watch it. I'm like, oh. Cool. And literally, chronologically, for his age, his first Star Trek was Next Generation, which means you should automatically be a Star Trek fan. Yeah, before SmackDown, right? It was after we figured. Oh, this it was out. after. No, after was the news. SmackDown news, Star Trek, up all night. Oh, so it was eleven. All right. So. Yes, that's I, why you got the little Ronda Sheer pop up by your face yeah, the other yeah, week. Yeah. But I didn't give you any Star Trek pop ups because you disgraced you Picard. Just, you just hate me. Just say you you disgraced you. Picard's name. Yeah, number one, uh, problem with our burden by association. Mm -hmm. um, you're a hater. <laughs> <laughs> you're a hater. Next, next year, no, you, nobody's gonna be like, I didn't watch Reading Rainbow because it was horrible because of I Star didn't. Trek. I, didn't. I used to think PBS was haunted, actually. I don't even know if it was on PBS. PBS was 321 Contact, Reading Rainbow, Electric Fat. Oh, so it was PBS? Electric Company. I thought PBS was haunted as a kid. Because it played the same commercials over and over. You know, you're right. It did. But, but then again, it's a public broadcast system, so I don't think they had many commercials. Well, I'm like, a kid, all I'm not, oh, this is a public broadcast system. That's what it was. <laughs> and remember, because they were always doing a telethon because they didn't have enough sponsors to give them money. <laughs> so now they probably only had five commercials. Hey, let's not skip over the heat. Figured out what the heat was. You didn't watch Reading Rainbow? I did not. Did you? Is this a? That's that's a shoot, brother. Let me guess. You still, didn't? it's on TV. Still, you can go watch it anytime. Not My kids have seen Reading Rainbow. I know oh. of it. Take a look. Was, hold on. In a book. Reading. I've got, Rainbow. A, I've got a follow-up question to this. 
Did you watch a Pup Named Scooby Doo? Yes. Okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> so Muppet Babies? Yes. Okay. Muppet Magic School Bus. Magic School Bus. That's me. That might yes. be. Magic School Bus. Really? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, I watched a lot of TV, but just not. Friday the 13th, long. the TV show. Yeah. Never seen it? Well, you ever watch the Ferris Bueller's Day Off TV show? Terrible. No. Thank you. You so you Absolutely saw it. Absolutely off. You know, remember it was part of Smell Vision? Yep. It was Ferris. You got uh, these cards. It was 7 Eleven or something. Okay. I see in Virginia I it's just 7 Eleven. I still got them the other. So it must have been 7 Eleven. I still got the cards. It was um, uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, um, Married with Children. Love Married with Children. Man, I forget what. Married with Children. So it was four shows and you would, they gave you these cards and when it was came on TV you would scratch them and smell. Mm. So you could probably only imagine them. But I still got the cards. So um, there was a Ferris Bueller's Day Off TV show. I think it was maybe off for like five or six episodes. The strange thing is, is the show, the movie was canon in the show. Mm-hmm. Yes. So it was like two different universes, and it just it was it wasn't good. <laughs> right. And we were talking about this earlier. Apparently, he watches some movies. Are you worse than me about movies. You watch a lot of movies. Yes and no. It depends on the type of movie. What kind of movies do you like? Big horror movie guy. I'm a fucking horror movie freak. Okay. Yeah, I haven't no, noticed. No. Rip? Is it no. black? No, no. It was in no, a metal head. Not, you not at all. Ass. Oh, My brother was in a metal head. Gomez Adams. Really? really? Here? Uh, up there? Up there. Oh. What do you play? Black curtains. Bass, like, and he was a vocalist. Like, so he was the complainer of the group like, that was always gone. holding his bassing over everybody. What's up? Huh? Huh? No, no, no. I'm no. sorry, I'm a singer, so. Yeah. He was the bass player, so every other one that plays an instrument. Was he any good? Oh, yeah. Good? Good at both. He still does it. Did but he, does he sing too, or just play? He plays, and he's the, I don't want to say screamer, but he does all of the heavy metal vocals. He's not a very clean singer. Not because he can't, it's just he likes to have somebody else to break up the monotony of his vocals. Uh, I wasn't a clean singer either. I was, they called us a dark alternative band, whatever that means, so I would be either singing dark or screaming. Yeah, I, I have no idea what it meant, but but I, I, being able to play and sing at the same time, I don't care if you're playing or screaming, playing or singing, mm-hmm. I can't do that. It's not easy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, it's very difficult. It's because not easy. The, the hand coordination, yeah. like it's, they're different tones. I can't separate the two. I've tried. I can't separate my my brother. I call him my brat. We don't get along. But my brother's a, a can sing. He's not as good as me. But but he's a drummer and he can drum and sing at the same time. But there's no. I couldn't be a drummer. I don't have that rhythm. And I could definitely couldn't be a drummer than sing at the same time. That's just. I can't do anything. Uh, With that attitude. Yeah. But uh, it's good. So was that fun growing up with a brother and a? Oh yeah. Did you get, did you get along with your brother? Every day. See, well, I had, I had a brother that was in a band growing up. We could do all that, but we didn't get along. So I just got to see it from afar. I didn't get to. Bad we're bad. getting into some hard work. I didn't get to like join in on the yeah. fun. So how old? How old is the difference? Fourteen years. years. Okay. See, me and my brother are seven. Me and my sister are seven years apart. So me and my, my I was when I was very young. We didn't get along very well. Then when I got like ten, we started to get along better. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And then now we're in. Where, 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 where. He's excommunicado right now with me until he, uh, until he gets old and I can like beat his ass in a fight or, or something. <laughs> uh, culturally, because we're brothers and brothers. you know, deuce and deuce, we're just play fighting, right? So, he used to YouTube. do my theme music. Which one? Uh, it's a band called Generator. Generator. Yeah, um, to, is it, can I like look it up and stuff? Yeah, of course. He's currently in a slam band called Yeet Cleaver. Yeet Cleaver? Slam band. Yes. <laughs> See, here's the thing. I, again, a little older. So people say names of like music now. It's a slam band, and I'm like, sing rock music. That's it. That's it. What kind? When they told me we were like dark alternative, I'm like, I, alternative music was music that came off of college radio. They don't yeah. play this anymore, and it's not dark. But okay, it's, whatever you say. It's Matchbox Twenty. But, Thank you. And I love Matchbox Twenty, but that's that's alternative. That's Matchbox Twenty. Yeah. Dude, okay. I've seen them in concert. Oh, six I, times. I would counter with. I would say alternative music is Spin Doctors or Radiohead, but a fair point. Yeah, fair. Yeah. Matchbox Twenty's got. I've seen them before. Yeah. I've never, never had to play with Matchbox Twenty. Um, I had to play with a lot of people though. There was a, there was a time when before I, uh, uh, we were talking about this last week. Candy found my band on MySpace, and that's how we met on MySpace. And she came to one of our shows, and that's how we met. But um, I got, there was a time when if you're coming through Tampa and you're a band, there wasn't any rock bands, so my band wasn't opening for. Them. It got to be ridiculous when State Theater here in St. Pete was still State Theater, not the Floridian. If a band came through there, it seemed like a little bit of a house band at some time, so. Oh, theater. That's not a bad spot to be in. No, it, it, it was, and I got to meet a lot of good people, a lot of jerks, a lot of, I got to, I got to meet some characters, but I got to meet a lot of good fans too. Like, I, till I die, I think Framie Hanley, you remember Framie Framie Hanley? Yep. 
some of the nicest guys I think I've ever met in my life. They're from Tennessee. They've got manners, blah, 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 blah. Some of the nicest people I've ever met in my life. Uh, Jimmy Ha from Jimmy's Chicken Shack was probably one of the greatest performers I've ever seen. Which is crazy because he'd down two bottles of tequila before a show and then come out and it'd be flawless while playing and singing. It's a fun life, but oh, yeah. no, no, it wasn't a wasn't a married and with children life. Yeah, it's not exactly the easiest balance. No, it's, it's like it's like wrestling, man. You gotta when you get on stage, you gotta have a character, you gotta yeah. have an acting. And at, as in wrestling, and I don't people know this about me. Uh, sometimes you start living the gimmick a little too much, and just really? like in wrestling, you should probably pull that living the gimmick back a little bit. Yeah, I, I, I did. Because you're not a space captain. You're not living. Stop. How dare you kill my character again? I, I had a Fish time merch. in my life when I was very much living the gimmick. I had to turn it back so, so much to where I stopped doing it. You thought you were an actual king? No, no, way before You that. thought you were a redneck? No, well, I am a redneck. Remember his old gimmick in wrestling? It was a redneck gimmick, nothing oh, against rednecks. Oh, you were blonde. Oh, yeah, when I was the Oh, yeah. that's one of my favorite. I ever told you a story about Starling when he was in the blonde phase? Oh, we all have a da- Daniel yeah, Starling when him. he was blonde. Remember story. when we were at a WrestleMania show and Starling and I just wanted to go like 420 minutes over the match time? Oh, Sorry. right on time. The, the food hits, the thunder hits, and I'm going to stop telling you that story. Let's just say that sometimes Mr. Starling is not very good at keeping statistics when running the show. They were having an excellent match, though, and you can watch on this channel. I'll upload it this week for you guys. This is lovely. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. beautiful. And this is the crab stuffed mushrooms that we're going to eat with our hands. And I smoked the blue crab. Giving my wife. Smoked it. Yep. Hey, um, we don't have any napkins on the show yet because apparently they haven't been delivered yet. And uh, so we're going to use these lovely... uh, Paper towels. Move my cup here. Next time you see us, we're gonna have Get some lovely napkins. Thank you, Miss Candy. Thank, Thank you, my sweetheart. Yeah, uh, you want to tell us a little bit about this begin be- again before we uh, munch it down? Just blue crab that I smoked, and I stuffed the Smoke. portobellos, the baby portobellos, with cream cheese and parmesan, and mozzarella, and some other spices. Yeah. And that's that one of the seeds. many reasons why my wife is awesome. So. <laughs> I put um, our fresh lemon basil that we grow over here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm, I could ask oh. her for a knife, but I'm just going to bear down this whole thing. Yes, I was this is delicious right here. You're going to bear down the whole thing? Don't even bring a knife. We're just going to eat these okay. three, three, three gentlemen eating the way gentlemen sometimes eat. Gentlemen, gentlemen cheers. Gentlemen, gentlemen. How can you describe the taste here? I, mean, I, I, I got the... Oh, man, it's like that. Let me describe it, because I, I actually know how she, um, how it was cooked, so what do you, what do you taste? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you thought you were getting the real answer? I, uh, Starry, yeah, please. Start the tasting. What are, you, what, are you, what are you tasting here? Please be honest about it, because if it sucks, we don't want to serve it to anybody else ever again. Oh, no, it doesn't suck. Yeah, no, it absolutely doesn't. It, so, it's a little strange, because it's multiple flavors back to back to back. Mm-hmm. No, because we ate it full-fledged, we sent it. You get the slight mushroom taste in the beginning, then you get the heavy cheese with like the hint of crab in the back end. Yes. And it's just... Like shifts, almost. Yeah. I love And then like when it goes, you get that like little lemony taste. I I love very anything, so this is... I sprinkled some dried lemon peel on Mm. top and uh, fried garlic. Oh, love garlic. Mm. Wow. Got this last one. It's pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead. Warning, if our equipment dies again and everything goes black, the lightning and the rain started outside, so um, if that happens, we'll be back. But uh, in the meantime, Dave, you did a great job. Just like, uh, which it, it, it makes me very proud when she does a good job like this. Because nobody on this end of the camera sees the full day of prep or what goes into this, so uh, she did good. You're awesome, Dave. Strong, real quick. Virginia boy, what was your favorite dish growing up? Oh. These are good food questions, I like them. That's difficult. From my mother's side or my father's side? Fudge. <laughs> we're we're going to skip <laughs> over that. Which is not the dessert. That. No, I'm not editing that. I'm highlighting it with a magnifier. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, how about from your mom's side? Oh. Let's see, what's your favorite Italian dish? I almost did the same thing, though, we just did, so that's, that serves me right. I'm, like, yeah, I'm dropping it on purpose. I love you, man. You know? <laughs> You so like, I'm going to be honest, I'm drawing a big blank because the first thing that comes to mind is not very Italian, but it's something my mom made all the time. She called them meatloaf cups. 
No, it was. It was. It was meatloaf and like a muffin tin. One of my, one of my favorite things. With mashed potatoes on top. It's like the whipped cream. It's and beautiful. And I could eat a trail. Was there bacon on top of that t-shirt? Was the bacon on top? Every now and then. What we just had in the first episode. We did. We had a. We had a. But it wasn't. It wasn't in the. It wasn't in the cupcake. That's what we had the first episode of. Uh, was it bacon and stuffed meatloaf with? Yes. A whole bunch of goodness on there. Bacon and cheddar. Ah, that, that's funny you say that. I love a meatloaf because uh, my wife's an Ocala girl. She's a. She's a forest girl. I like to say no. I call her. Funny, funny, funny the names. But um, she makes a really good meatloaf on top of everything else. And uh, I didn't really like. Sorry, mom. I didn't really like meatloaf before I met my wife. So uh, it's funny that he says that. Why not? Uh, what's the difference between? Mama's meatloaf. My mom can cook, but my mom can cook. But I just, I don't know. It just wasn't. I don't think I was into her meatloaf sauce. I think she always did it with like a, like a, like a Betty Crocker eighties cookbook, mm-hmm. straight meatloaf. And there wasn't ever really any variation. Whereas, I mean, Candy had been married a very long time. Not a very long time. We've been married a long time though. Um, almost a decade and a half. And. So every time she makes a meatloaf, it's different and it's freaking awesome. Like she can make a meatloaf a thousand, she can make anything a thousand ways. But mm. well, it's just as you will come to learn on this show, feed our minds. Feed our minds. Cheers. It is very cheersy. Baby, I don't, I don't mean to be the the one scarfing down the food in the table, but I didn't breathe, and uh, it was very good. I don't know what air is. So, Starling. Okay. Yes. So, what is your current favorite meal now? Oh. 27 egg whites. Okay. Uh, seven grilled chicken. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> That's why you're so swole right now. Look at that jack. Yeah, no, it's the medication. Uh, no. no. I have chickens and I don't eat that many eggs, but continue. No, 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 no. no. Uh, it's hard. I eat out a lot. Not a big, I, I like to cook, but I don't feel that I have the time to really sit down and get in the nitty gritty of it. Uh, okay, so let me. Amazing. Uh, I'm sorry. Break it no, up. Here. Take oh, no, no, take your time. Jeez. Jeez. Oh, hurry up, Star. I'm not. <laughs> That's just the question. appetizer. I got a question. Enjoy it. Please take your time. As a matter of fact, talk with your mouthful. We have no time with it. <laughs> the, the king is not I can tell. tag your mom with this and let her know you're, you're, wow. you're talking with your mouthful. Wow, here we are. And your elbows are on the table. Let me know that the oh, first person to bring up mothers on the podcast <laughs> was the captain, the space captain. Who, uh,. You know, there's probably heat. So, all right. Go ahead, say it. So let me let me break up the question. What's the heat? Your favorite meal to cook, and your favorite meal to go out and eat. So to cook, I make a uh, like a Cajun chicken cutlet. Get some usually white rice because mm-hmm. I'm trying to eat a little bit healthier. A little. Thirteen grams of white rice. <laughs> a lot of white rice. That's an EC3 joke. Uh-huh. Continue. So Cajun chicken cutlet. A little bit of white rice, usually broccoli. Again, Cajun adobo. I'll air fry for a couple minutes. You seasoning. Yeah, I'm pretty white. You said that pretty good for a white guy. So you did it. Maybe so. I don't know. You did well. Yeah. What? Did you hear that he's, he's single on the market? Single so nice. and your, uh, ready for Pringle. That's what you right. cook. So what, what do you like to eat right now? And if it's Applebee's, just say it's Applebee's. No, it's definitely not. Okay. Applebee's. Eating good in the hay room. Not for starving, not for game. Uh, I like Applebee's, but it's not my favorite. Can you see him trying to save face right now? Because he knows they're at Applebee's after right. every show. Favorite right. place, favorite dish. Go. Oh, favorite place, not because it's the best, but because it hits most home for me. A place called Huey Magoo's. They've got it up in Brooksville. Mm. It's a. Here you are. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. Right in the middle of questions. It's always. <laughs> that's how she is. She's just like, I'm going to stop Jeremy, you could also uh, grab it for him I while could. he's talking. Yeah, I could. Yeah. Come on, Can I have Jeremy. your cups yeah, yeah, come up? What am I grabbing? Uh, May I have next a, time I'll grab your. your May I please have a water, water? No more apple juice Struggle. for me. Okay. Please. Yes. Because he's hydrated. He's had enough apple juice. Good what up? You and the in Brooksville. Yes, yes. So it's a chicken tether restaurant. Yes. Wow. That's all they have. I know exactly what it is. I love Brooksville. Not a lot of people know what it is. I've seen one in Brooksville and one in St. Pete, and that's about it. I don't know. We, we used to do events in Brooksville. Oh. Yeah, the last, um, last time I saw Bray Wyatt um, before he passed was in Brooksville. Uh, cool story. He was at a festival where I was in Brooksville, walking around buying all the kids uh, glow sticks and toys. Oh. And his kids were there with him, oh. and the kids were gathering around him, so he literally sat there and bought all the kids 
do our stuff. So I was about, I guess, I guess I was about a week before pass. Oh, maybe, uh, maybe two weeks. Uh, and uh, awesome guy was sitting around for 15 minutes of me showing the shit, thank you. putting his sister and his brother over the entire time and buying kids toys. So that's my uh, that's my brain story for right now. But yeah, Brooksville's awesome, man. Huge reviews. Yeah. So I live in Spring Hill, which is not Brooksville. I've learned that when I moved there. Right. But it's close enough. Again, Tampa branded, similar kind of situation. Right. So me and my roommates, Zach and Luna, love them to death. Every Tuesday, it's, it's Huey Magoo's day. Huey Magoo's day. We go to Magoo's, then we go bowl. Then you go bowl. Yep. What's your uh, what's your score? Not good. Not good. Yeah, honest with you, not good. Last week I got a 180. Oh, don't mind me, guys. With or without the bumpers. Oh, with the bumpers. With the bumpers. We all play with the bumpers. Okay. Do you have any bumper rules like you got to bump it twice before it spins? Nope. All right. All right. But he's like, oh my god, I never thought of that. Sometimes we'll nice. Agent Cody Banks it. Nice. One, 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 one. Were you born for Agent Cody Banks? Oh, he's seeing if What's wrong? Do you have an Apple or something? No, I'll tell you what. No, an I iPhone? Every Tuesday. You have an iPhone. Maybe my phone That's why it broken? doesn't work. You have an iPhone, right? Is my phone broken every Tuesday? Right, you're grown up. Get a Samsung. <laughs> The crazy thing is, he's he, Gary, he doesn't call you because you have an Apple. He's known about this <laughs> since we started. I never heard of Huey Tuesday. Oh wait, so you'll drive all the way to my house, but you won't drive. Just kidding. It's like another hour. Hey man. So you know where he's actually going every Tuesday, but yet instead of just driving and showing up, we're here talking about it. Not the that. heat. No. Uh -huh. He won't text me and go, "Hey, you guys bowling today?" Huh. Why do you say that? They're saying this. I texted you yesterday. The, the funny, and the, it was Thursday. The funniest thing about this is they're saying Thursday around the, uh, We go bowling on Tuesday. Oh, they're oh. saying this around the promoter of a company they work for. Nobody asked the promoter ever to go anywhere, ever. Ever. Fair enough. That's not true. You invited me to your mother's birthday this year. I did, and you did not come. You we were in you, Georgia. You wouldn't dare. We were in Georgia. You said I wasn't over. That is literally the first vacation we've taken mm -hmm. without the children or without being pregnant since we got married, because we got pregnant the day after we were married, so we hadn't taken a vacation yeah. till then. Of course, the one time I get invited by the boys. Uh, the I did, yeah. I was like, hey, Jeremy, if you're not doing that, come on by. And, he, ah, and you were like, Who, who's this? I was, me and Kenny were in Georgia, tape? and we were doing a lot of yoga exercising. And, and oh, so you're pretty flexible. I am not flexible anymore, but I used to be when we were trying to be pretty <laughs> flexible. I don't know if it was succeeding. Oh, <laughs> nice. But in between those, the, the lovely time alone with my wife that I left, uh, we have some lovely hiking footage. Uh, we actually have a lot of hiking footage when we were in Georgia. So party, party all night, work all day. That's what I did while you're probably goofing off. You know? Whatever. I was sitting there patiently waiting for a text message on a Tuesday, probably asking you to come to Georgia. It wasn't happening, buddy. Hey, busy. man, you wanna, you wanna go to Huey Tuesdays? What was it called? Then? <laughs> Huey Magoo's? Huey Magoo's Day. It's a restaurant. Magoo's Day. It's a small business establishment. You should be Mr. Magoo's Day, and I was in my... They also have banana pudding. Oh, I wouldn't know, oh. man, because my phone clearly didn't have minutes, and it was before 9, and, you know, after 9 is when I get my unlimited minutes. Yeah. We're already bowling. Do, do people understand that reference anymore? I hope so. Uh, you so like, share, share free comment after if you were... If so if somebody called you before 9 o'clock, they sucked. Yeah. And just to, to plug another local business, Strike City, Brooksville, weekdays. Is that the bowling the bowling establishment, the alley? It is. That's, a, that's where we go. Do they have a good arcade? Yes. They do. Yes, they do. That's actually why we started going. We went to the arcade and ended up bowling. Do they have a good crappy bar? Ooh. The crappiest? Yeah. The they got, uh, I, I think it, yeah, it's either Tuesday or Thursday. Watered down rum. I try not kamikazes. I try not to drink during the week. Okay. But okay. Try as it does. I try. It is during the week right now, and you've had a lot of apple juice. It's Friday. It's, it's Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday. Friday. We're only sweating a little bit. But uh, I believe it's either Tuesday or Thursday. They got you sweating. An Elvis impersonator. They come and say an Elvis impersonator. Yes. Do Beautiful. you know who Elvis is? Yeah. Were you born yet? Yeah. He's Neither a guy. He, he sings uh, Suave Um, <laughs> uh, but possibly. Um, I don't know what to go with that. Suave the day. Hunk a hunk a burn in love. Come on. Yeah. I know the song. I was just the in my head. I'm trying to. Huh? You don't know the singer of it? No, I don't right now. Google it. I can think of it in my head. I can hear the voice in my oh, head. Oh wait, that doesn't. We don't. Go to the screen. 
<laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll work on that. We're getting this there. This is the computer from the next episode. Last episode. We're getting there. Um, this is the. Uh, this is just the screen. Uh, right. Yeah. Eventually, we'll get there where we have the gimmick where you just. Like, I have the on. gimmick. I just hope. Then, next, we'll look, next then again, we'll look like the whatever guy, the whatever podcast dude, which we are. We already tried to pitch us today. Today, Aaron Nova pitched that he had all the. All the young ladies that we work with at wrestling together on the same show. Oh. Well, no. Let me give you some backstory before this goes Found completely not, left. Not the whatever podcast. That's literally what it would be. Jeremy pitches me four different people at once. He was like, oh, man, I really want this person. Oh, sure. but then I also want this person. I kind of want this person. So I'm like, hey, man. All of them. On the show. And then instantly I was just like, wait a minute, that's that's too much cooking for He's candy. He's trying to kill Chef Candy cooking. I was just like, wait a minute, I take that back. <laughs> so not only that, logistically, seating, camera framing, microphones. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Jeremy's the only one with a good chair here. If Thank you. Those so candies I'd be The chair? Yes. That yeah, was a nice chair. Can I get the chair? It was when I bought it 20 Can years ago. Can I get ago. the chair next episode? No. no. You, don't, you don't want to sit in this chair. Uh, Mid-card on my own podcast. No, no you don't. Me and Chef Candy have had this chair for a while. You don't want oh, to sit in the chair. chair. <laughs> I'm in the bottom of the barrel here. I mean, you can? Uh, exactly. He's like, oh, no, I just picked up on what you were throwing down, brother. He no, speaks trumpet. Brother, brother. I speak trumpet, yes. Yeah, dude, and this, and we just got demonetized again, I'm sure. And uh, it's my fault. Yes. my fault. Hear that thunder? <laughs> that is the thunder. Eerily. Is there is any thunder. Isn't it? Which was yesterday night. Well, you were ignoring me. Thank you. It was Thursday. Well, clearly, you ignored me. Spot Tuesday. on. It was Thursday yesterday. What yes. up? First, we, he's we, not the color man for nothing. We spoke about this. <laughs> how, how far were we? Forty-five minutes ago, when I was asleep. I was. Works kicking my tailbone. We were asleep forty-five minutes ago. No, we spoke about it. Uh, we did. But it is. And forty-five minutes ago, you were five minutes into this podcast. Ha! Yeah. Huh. Right and there. you said you didn't know math. That's right. I'm not. I'm looking down at my phone. Math, math the wizard. Podcast, like I shouldn't be doing. I did it too. Don't worry. Okay. Good. No math we're, wizard. We're, we blocked it from you, so you don't actually know what's going on over here. <laughs> yeah. And I have to keep. I have to keep staring board. back and forth at the equipment that now isn't shutting off. We need to take the batteries out of this because we killed the batteries. That's why it shut off for some reason. Dead and auto switch to the plug. But uh. You can't do batteries in this because we've got Phantom going to the condenser mics and you kill the batteries in like 30 seconds. I did two weeks in a row. Technical mumbo jumbo. Old. That's your line. Jeremy is old. Oh my goodness. Let's get some content. So, this is where it, this is going to go off the road. Did you watch the debate just last night? I did not. You did I, not. I slept all day. I may know. I, I may have. Clearly. Already. How about this? Did you watch the debate? I saw one part. Which part was that? When he was just like, "Yeah, look, look what we did with oh. social. We beat social security." And then Trump was all like, "Yeah, you beat it to death." Yeah, and I'm like, "Beat the medic." Preface: uh, The president was trying to talk about social security and did some elderly things, which I'm not going to get into because my father is elderly, about his age, yeah. and it's not fun to watch. But uh, he did some elderly things, and Trump gave him his little Trumpism, and that was that was what he got. So, that, so obviously, the news picked up on that. Threw it all over the place, and that's good. Well, at least you saw some of it, right? Yeah, I was. Uh, I like spit out my trick cereal, and then I was just like, "Man, this is great!" And then I went back to my own. Nice, and that was it. That was it. That well, was, that was could, Aaron Nova on the debate. You can turn on Fox or CNN right now and catch a whole bunch of repetition about what happened in the debate from both sides. It's not funny from either side. It's actually, it's actually, I'm, 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 I'm a Republican. Uh, I've been ah. watching. I've been watching CNN all day. Have you? Because it was one of the funniest things I've seen all day. Um, again. Now, I, I wasn't laughing at the debate because, again, my father is about the same age as the president, and it wasn't, it's not funny to me. I, 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 I understand what being that age might entail, and I wouldn't want my dad being the president of the country because it doesn't seem like a fun job at that age. But, uh, so, but, but watching the commentary the next day is always fun, obviously, watching the media oh, spin yeah, on everything. Yeah. I was for just both here sides. For the, the memes. Those, oh, the memes haven't. Have we, have we gotten through the hot. Oh, memes? no. To go to the ah, presidential no, meetings? They're, they're crossing over. Did now. the debate cancel the the hot TV movie? So means let, me, let me explain how this works. Okay. So And we're back. We decided to take a little technical break, and by technical break, our camera may or may not have overheated because sometimes GoPros do that. We're going to be in the comment section about, oh my god, why are you using GoPro, blah, blah, blah. 
Because money, that's why. If you want me to use a different setup, send us some money. We'll get a different setup and probably still use the GoPro and use the money for something else. <laughs> but, um, so um, we're back. Uh, sorry for the weird editing job. I know where you're going. Go ahead and say it. It's not going. So, uh, you're going to tell Hiro Matsuda you can't do 500 uh, Hindu squats? Right. You're going to tell Shibata you can't do 500 Hindu squats? Fair question. You're going to tell Ref Julie? You can't do. I know who that is. Five hundred ah, Hindu squats. Uh, no, just, I know who Jules is. She's she going is out. a missionary. No, she kicks ass. If she knew, she's gonna know. She watched the podcast. What you heathens? You you guys dragged me out, and let's just say I didn't get home till like six in the morning. Evil. Uh, Who's fault is that? Six in the morning. Uh, These kids know how to party. Okay. You know, Jeremy hasn't slept in like what? Seventeen years. Seventeen years. I feel like. And before that, <laughs> I haven't slept in. Baby, how old's our oldest one? Twelve. Uh-huh. I haven't slept in twelve years. Oh, here comes the forks and the neck. Because brother. as a father, oh yeah, clank, clank, clank. As a father, you don't sleep. You're always on alert. My daughter is six foot one, twelve years old, blonde hair, green eyes. Did I get that one right? And uh, so I only never sleep. And my other daughter is four foot one. Look at that. Blonde hair, blue eyes. So I will never sleep again. Ever. Thanks on the show. So, my sure go right ahead. Uh, sorry, let's 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 do this first. Um, my love, uh, what do we got here? What do we got? What do we got? Spaghetti bake with uh, some homemade sauce that I cooked for a whole day, and I smoked some Italian sausage with some ground meat in the sauce. Uh, there's ricotta. Velveeta, Parmesan, and mozzarella. And, and then a little spring inside. Uh, and, and it looks like uh, on the basil on top, looks like we grow it in our lovely Aero Garden. So Aero Garden, if you're watching, uh, you guys are awesome. Give us a sponsorship. Thanks. Huh? And uh, Oxalotl over there, he, uh, here Oxalotl, he actually perked up and swam up to the top because it looked like he wanted some too. But he's an Oxalotl, so he can't eat it. So before you start. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, before we start, I'm going to do, I'm going to say a little grace. Oh, Mom, Mom, we can do that. Mom, Mom, Steve taught it to me. We can do that. Good bread, good meat, good God. Let's eat. Let's do it. <laughs> rub a dub dub. Thanks for the grub. Yeah, you are. <laughs> I don't actually remember my, I don't remember the, we used to do the prayer at Catholic school every time before. I don't remember the prayer anymore. Well, um, Maybe thank you, Lord, for these that I doubt. Thank you, Lord, for these that gifts that we're about to receive through Christ, through my bounty, through Christ our Lord, Amen. Something like that. Thank you, thank you for this food, Miss Candy. And, and if you, and if you're not the religious type, you can thank or thank all uh, the. Oh, well, obviously, the spaghetti space was the uh, pastafarian. Ah, oh, pastafarian. Here's that. There's a. If you don't know what a Pastafarian is, I believe it's either on Prime or Netflix. There's a whole documentary about the Pastafarian religion, which I think is amazing. And their deity is the, uh, the Spaghetti Space Monster, I think it's called. They actually say monster. Anyways, I think it's amazing. So Pastafarians out there, we love you. As an Italian, I'm surprised I'm not a Pastafarian. And a Rastafarian and a Pastafarian. This is so delicious, that, by the way. I'm just going to eat Starling, describe what you're tasting here. Yeah, please. Oh my God. I just take a piece of base when I love it. Yeah, let me get a little dabble here. God, this is delicious. Love it. I'm going to try to slurp less than I did last time with a condenser mic in my mouth. This is loving, but as y'all know, this is a food show also. also so you're probably going to hear a little chomping every once in a while because the food is baby. This is amazing, as always. You can definitely get the smoked sausage. You can definitely taste the ricotta. Whoa, 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 I don't mean to cut you off, but Jersey Italian. You said ricotta. Hold on. I'm Let's see if he knows what's up. What am I going at? What should you have called it? I'm from Virginia, though. Oh. <laughs> you don't know the Jersey Italian phrase? You ever heard your mom call it pot cheese? I no? Have, I know I have. Pot cheese is Jersey Italian because it used to come in a, in a, a little ceramic pot. So they call it pot cheese. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Go ahead. No, 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 you're fine. Not... There's a lot of things where I would prefer to say them more Italian, <laughs> but I sound like this. Hey, there's only so many, there's only so much I can do. Hey, just don't, just don't bust out the bop on the road. Just look at uh, look at monitor. Oh, I said it. <laughs> you did. Bafangulo. Your sister's ass, Bafangulo. The AI on YouTube is probably be like, your sister's ass. What are they talking about? 
Listen, if you don't know what that means, ask one of your friends from Jersey. If they've ever done anything wrong or tried to do anything wrong in their life, somebody said it to them. I'm Mr. Fabish. Fabish. Oh, yeah, that means, do you understand? Oh, yeah, I understand. Do you? I, I, I thought all you spoke was Japanese. Hey! 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 So you love Japan. You love all things Japan, I think. Kind of like me. I love all things Japan. I really like uh, all things Italian. Do you watch the uh, Tokyo Vice? No? Brother, right that's a good show. I don't watch anything. It's, but it's, it's based in Tokyo. It's wonderful. I sit by my phone and wait for my friends to check me out. I bet, I bet you haven't checked out Lost in Translation that I told I you to check you out. You got a little? Uh, you're a little <laughs> Listen, have you seen Lost in Translation? I haven't. With Bill Murray in Japan? I've seen clips, I haven't seen all of them. He does the Centauri ad. You, you really gotta check out Lost in Translation. You're a Japanese uh, freak like I am. You like all things Japanese. That's a pretty cool movie. You, you can check out a little something something? You, a little something something? We can't do this again. You want me to get for you? Let me just... You better. <laughs> you better get back. All right. I'm trying to enjoy this delicious meal that Miss Candy prepared for us. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do my best here. I'm gonna try to get. I'm just checking out time on the footage. Um, I'm gonna do my best. Do your best, Jeremy. You're Not to eat best. as much food as we did in the first episode. <laughs> yeah. Because I and and this is our house. We filmed for my house. I live here and I can barely walk. Nope, I had to drive home after that. I can only imagine. I barely made, been. like, I was at the stop sign and, like, my eyes were... The stop like, sign oh. is up. It's three feet that way, <laughs> by the way. Uh, my, I had to drive on the steering wheel like this. So like, oh, oh, Chef okay. Candy. Just I'm going to eat for dessert. Because we are. Panacotta. Uh, Chef oh, Candy, my lovely yeah. wife, has uh, picked up some of my Italian tendencies. I'm Spanish Italian, but the Italian tendencies are uh, cooking up food. So it doesn't matter who comes over, you're prepared and you have food for them. So, uh, feed a village. Yes, and I'm very opulent, so I tend to eat everything you put in front of me. Opulent. Opulent. See how you say that? Can we get that like lower third? Opulent. I will. Do a little definition of everything. <laughs> hey, hey, Nova. You know what'll make you feel better after a this wonderful dish like this, and then a wonderful dessert, pentecost, chocolate. Lovely. So now. You know what'll really perk you back up? Settle down. Let me just move these aside here. A lovely espresso. No, a couple of them. A couple juice and Red Bulls. A couple juice and Red Bulls. A couple apple juice and Red Bulls. I'm sorry, this is a bang family? Wow. <laughs> Sadly, it's coyote ugly. It gives you wings. <laughs> the coyote ugly. Well, and my wonderful former Austrian wife got me hooked on Red Bull. And then, nah, I can't stop. That was actually part of the, um, the Red Bull. Um, goodness, I forget what, what was it called when you uh, a giant group of, and my father's a lawyer and a, yeah. and a judge and I forget the class action lawsuit against Red Bull. Remember, Red Bull had to pay out because of Red Bull gives you wings and somebody sued them over it. Then it didn't give him wings. So I was part of the class action lawsuit. Either they sent you like money back, or they sent you another case of Red Bull. Brilliant. <laughs> Which is brilliant. Get your wings, dog. So obviously, yeah, I, yeah. I got more Red Bull because who didn't want more Red Bull at the time? Because, you know, it was kind of cracky. So, um, yeah, I was part of the Red Bull lawsuit. I don't have you know, it doesn't give you wings, but it was excellent at the time. But we still love Bang because Bang. Oh. Big Bang. Bang. What do you like best about Bang? The diamond cutter. <sighs> it's the flavor. Listen. Are we not talking about BDP? Listen, I'm not talking about the diamond exchange. Hey, who killed WCW? Uh, who killed Scott, WCW? Who um, killed WCW? Did you not watch the series? Who, who, of course I did. Who do you really think killed WCW? The guy talking about his fucking, pardon me, his, uh, I, guess, man, I can do all the bleeps for now. The, the guy talking about his paycheck never changed. That's who killed We all know who killed W. Who do you think killed WCW? Really, what's your opinion? Ah, uh, Brad Siegel and the Terminator. Really? And you don't think it was Big Sexy that killed him? Who? Everything he's ever been a part of has died and got messed up in some way. You've seen the Punisher movie, right? Sadly. Thank you. Who was in it? He was also in The Longest Yard. You s those the movies, reboot? Those movies are awesome. So are you trying... Hold up. Stop. We have a problem now. So you're trying to put over the reboot of The Longest Yard because for some reason you think that you need a reboot of The Longest Yard. With After Burt Reynolds did it. Perfectly. He was in the second. He was in the reboot. I hate you. I'm not saying that it. They had need, Goldberg. They did have Goldberg. I'm not saying there's only one movie with Goldberg in it that's worth a lick. Universal Soldiers. Two, by the way. 
Ah, that was two. No, one. what's that? Yeah, that was Dolph Lundgren. Uh, part two. No, it might have been three. Might have been Universal. So I was going to say Ready to Rumble, but whatever. Oh yeah. No. Oh, we all missed it. Bam, bam. But uh, no, I don't think it needed a reboot. But I appreciate it, and I had Joey Diaz. If anybody loved Burt Reynolds, I would think it was you that would love Burt Reynolds. I mean, mm -hmm. I thought, I hope I'm not being presumptuous here, but I thought you wrestling did it with Burt Reynolds. Huh. Well, now he's like, damn, it is. Damn. Yeah. I'm going to start calling you Gator. Oh. Nobody's going to, only the old people are going to get it, but he's going to be like, Gator, what's up? They're going to be like, I must have gone to the University of Florida, which is my favorite college, by the way, right, Wifey? University of Florida. Chump chump. Is that what you guys say? Chump chump? Chop chop. Chop what? Chomp, chomp. I couldn't hear you over the sound of Florida State, chomp. my favorite team, beating your ass constantly. Okay. Chump chump is the sound of making this delicious food. Let's see if these are sausage chip. I hope um, people aren't actually watching me eat the food because I'm being picked over. Oh, you too? I just ate the entire bit of cheese off the top of it. I just realized how much I ate. What? What are we. Bro, oh, this is a look. My god! Could you not do that on camera? I'm trying to do it, I'm, I'm purposely- I'm very, I'm, I'm very sensitive. I'm purposely not trying to eat all this, because you know me, I can eat at the end of time. We're still doing the chicken, or the chicken nugget challenge one day, right? Oh, brother, I'm How many chicken nuggets can you eat? All. It's only the second episode, let's all hmm? settle <laughs> down. Where are we getting the chicken nuggets from? Everywhere, that was the point, different places. I think I can eat a hundred, maybe more. Do you have Wendy's, I can eat a hundred. The spicy nuggets, the Wendy's finally, the Wendy's has been here my entire life on the corner finally closed, so I'd have to go to like, pass, almost land a lake to get to a new Wendy's now. But I was thinking like, grocery store, like Wendy's, Kentucky Fried Chicken, get some big nuggets, get some free, I was thinking of doing all that in a challenge. So, Wendy's like meat on, of the spice. God, of the spicy ones. Uh, KFC, I don't know, I'm not a big nugget from KFC guy. You weren't on the big, the KFC chicken sandwich? Oh, I'm sorry, that was Popeye's. That was Popeye's. Popeye's. Which was good, but I didn't, I waited until after. I wasn't getting into a fist fight at Popeye's. Me too. I had DoorDash deliver it for five minutes. It was yeah. amazing. I'd like to see somebody try and fight me over a chicken sandwich. <laughs> Brother. Are we doing this? Sounds like a great match. Is it? Title for sandwich. August, I know you're watching because you worship me. Um, so, that's um. right. Wow. Anyways, so, um, uh, August, since you worship me, know that Daniel Starling just challenged you to a chicken nugget match. I don't know what that entails. Sounds like something that should be on a pole. Sounds like something Russo should promote. But, um, we're doing this. Chicken nuggets on a bull bar. Can we get Blue Chew on a pole? Wait, wait yeah. are you a Blue Cheese person or a ranch person? No, Blue Chew. What is Blue Chew? I have no idea what Blue Chew is. Is this going to get us to monetize again? Yep, no, it should be a sponsor for the show. Who is, what? I don't even know what it is. What is it? So, it's a male enhancement? I, you know what? Before he even tried to go, I was like, oh, these are going to be pills. My God. Are... Here goes the pill joke. Go ahead. Yeah. And where do you get it at? Say, a uh, giant gas station that Actually, also sells no. beef jerky and all sorts of sandwiches? So you have to get them prescribed by a doctor online. Bluechew.com slash something something. Are we getting you? Go ahead. We're sponsor of Bluechew. Let's see this. What are commercial? This is Bob. Yeah. yeah. I thought that was a Hymns commercial. Enzyme. Wait, how do you not know anything about like politics, but uh, you watch like the Fox News ads? That's a Fox News ad. They play it every other commercial. Oh, I'll be watching Fox News. Does you like money? No, I don't. I you, hate money. Can you tell I'm a Republican? Have you seen them both? Because you like money? <laughs> wait, is that the one? Hold on, wait a minute. Wait, what was that last one? What is it? Have you seen them both? <laughs> okay. Have you seen him book a show? He doesn't let's, like Yeah, I've seen him book a show, believe let's me. Let's all settle down now. I have actually wrestling shows named after him. Settle down oh. now. Let's all take a minute. Back to the Philly gimmicks. Go ahead, no, we're still on the pills. What, what, go on then. Tell us about all about your pill gimmick here. So, Blue Chew, Blue Chew. is the first chewable male enhancement vitamin. The hell would I want to do that for? It kicks it back. Chew it and do it. That's the big deal. She would do it. So are you telling me that the that, 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 yeah, penis pills don't kick in fast? So I would you know this. I've never used them. I've got a hint subscription right now. I'll go ahead and talk about I'm it. Yeah, so genuinely, never use them? Okay. I don't, I'm going to look at the camera and say this straight. I don't need a hymn subscription. Can't. My wifey, do I need a prescription to hymns? Please, no, no. No. And I'm going to be candid about this. I like to uh, party sometimes. And sometimes, we're not talking about like hard drugs here. We like to party. And sometimes when you're partying, you just like a good hymns pill. 
So you ain't got to worry about nada, homes. Sometimes you want to go two hours when a real man can only go 30 minutes. Sorry, like, guys, you can't go two hours without a film. Stop it. Stop it. I wouldn't want to. Exactly. I'm taking my I do want to. I'm crazy. And sometimes you just need a pill. They're fun. You're not supposed to take them for fun because they say if you take them for fun, one day you're actually going to need them. Guess what? I know again. I don't believe that. Anyway, so blue chews, you buy, so you want to chew it up so they come in like quicker. So, I, like I said, I've never used them. I don't know the exact size. You're 100% lying. You've used them, but go ahead. Look, never used them. I have. See, I'm good. Scout's I'm, honor? No. <laughs> Mother? No. You, you were a scout? No. Okay. But if you were, I believe that. I'm just a redneck. That's lovely. Ah, Thank oh, you. Oh, that explains Thank it. Thank you. My wife can understand that 100%. <laughs> So, but you notice I'm in line of fire the same <laughs> Ingredients is like fire and Cialis. It's just chew. Right. It's a blue chew. It's a big sponsor on a bunch of different podcasts. Blue chew. Okay, blue chew. Blue chew. Him is giving us a sponsorship. No one's going to need him in the future, obviously. This is terrible dinner talk here. It's terrible. Right? We're, 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 like, we're, I, we're talking. I'd after be sent dinner. to my room for this blue kind blue of talk. We're, we're talking. And after. you guys expect this from me? I get this reputation. Hey, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Okay, Salamithrace. Okay. Now, listen, I'm not... Here's the thing. When I hear these guys talking about they sell them here, listen. I don't need them. But I sure as hell am not going to buy the ones that might kill me. So, when y'all talk about taking these ick pills, I dropped the D on that. you like it? Uh, from gas stations, that's freaking crazy to Again, me. Again, never done it. Yeah, but like it seems like other guys in the scene have done it. Like, guys... Listen, I don't, I don't, I don't want to be. What? Wait, 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 hold on now. You're messing. Hold on listen, now. You're messing with your. Don't mess with your stuff. What, you understand? Why, why am I getting the talk? I didn't bring this up. Let's take right. something that at least FDA approved. You know what I mean? What, 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 you can't get it just no. shame now. No shame in this. <laughs> no shame in this. You can't get it in China. There's no shame in this. It's okay. Were you getting them in Japan? Is that what you went to Japan for? You trying to get pills? For pills? Like, that'll be a, a long trip for some pills. Would you sit down? He's like, number one, when you got to China, uh, Japan, he was a giant. He was very tall. So, were you, like, intimidating people? Telling them you were a space captain trying to track down pills? Yeah, probably. It's horrible. And you, and, and you didn't vlog that? That's why you didn't eat any sushi in Japan. You were tracking down pills the whole time. Yep. Vending machine pills oh, in Japan. Yeah. Ah. Pilly gun. We're totally getting demonized. The one. The one pilly gun. The one. <laughs> that's, a, that's another funny thing. Is anyone over here done? Yeah, I, I, yes, I, I'm are. saving room. It's amazing, but I'll eat the whole thing and I'll be fine. These jerks. Dude, I loved it. Uh, I think finished? this is... This now, is I don't right think you, yeah. you, now I don't think he's taking any at all. He was like, look, I don't need any, but like, they tell you it's a scripture. Like, uh, you still like, talking like about the pills? You know, no, I take like three times a prescription when I actually take them because I think it's fun. Ah, that's why they get... You're having a good time. So yes, for quite a while at that point because it doesn't stop. You're the reason they stop giving people tests for TRT. What is TRT? I have no idea what TRT is. Testosterone replacement. I don't need testosterone. No, no, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> saying you do. But My wife would, see, I would say I need less testosterone. But, less testosterone? When, but I think I said less testosterone, but I've been drinking. When, when, it, apple juice. when it first came out, you take it home. Once a week, one cc, you're back to go. It's like drinking or shooting. You, uh, you gotta uh, inject it. Yeah, I'm, I'm scared of needles, says the guy with tattoos on his arm. But thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Because of that, thank you, sir. people would sell it and abuse it. So now, if you get TRT, you have to go to a doctor. They'll give you the shot, and then by the end of that week, when you need the new one, you, you're done. Dad, drug. I noticed how he was so. digging in his shirt right now. It was about to come off. Uh, as a as a 45 year old Spanish Italian, I still don't need any testosterone. I probably could. Uh, I probably, probably be a. I'm a hothead. People, I, I my mouth off a little bit. I could probably say it a little I less. I haven't noticed. Yeah, I could probably say it a little less. What? I'm a I'm a big uh, fight fan. Same. Yeah. MMA. Yeah. Very much. And it was a hot topic around the 2010s era. Oh goodness. Uh, TRT. Uh, Let uh, me guess, John Jones. Off the top of my head. No, actually. Do uh, you remember Vitor Belfort? Of course, I remember Vitor Belfort. Do you remember when he had that comeback and he looked like an action figure? I had the T-shirt. Yes. yes. Yeah, that's what happened. Yeah, uh, fought. Um, got kicked in the face. No, he kicked Homeboy in the face. The front kick, like almost a Sparty kick right in the chin. Um, the other machine. Yes. Yes. That was when I still watch UFC a lot. 
A lot, a lot, a lot. Now there's so many UFCs that it's like it's hard to keep up. Once in a while I try to catch a Conor fight until he says he's not fighting. And so then he's fighting again and then he's not fighting. He's not fighting. But eventually, eventually we're going to finish up the tough show and, and, the, and the coaches are going to fight. Um, they're both going to have gray hair at the time, but we're going to see it eventually. It's all about retirement. What's so, up? You gotta retire and come out of retirement. I mean, that guy doesn't need any money, does he really? Need the to money is in the comeback tour. Let's be fair. He was excellent in Roadhouse, the reboot. I don't mind saying I didn't watch that. What? I didn't watch I didn't watch either Roadhouses. I'm sorry. Are we talking Patrick Swayze now? Did we say that again? I didn't watch either Roadhouses, except for the Family Guy episode. There's at least Roadhouse. eight Family Guy episodes of Roadhouse, number one. So You're referring to the one where he's turning down the street and was laying and he's saying Roadhouse, Roadhouse, Roadhouse. Yeah, yeah. That's like the eight, that's like the last Roadhouse episode. What's yeah, wrong so with you? If we're talking we're topically sound. Patrick Swayze. Yeah? The only movie Name that mattered. Name one other person in that movie. Was Ghost. Name one other person in that, person in that movie. Which one? Ghost? Yeah. <laughs> Patrick Swayze. And? That's it. Debbie Moore? Oh, yeah. Nice. Willie Goldberg? Keep oh, going. Yeah. Name up one other person in Roadhouse. No, no, that's it. Sorry, right, Elliot. What is yeah. wrong? You can't name one other person in the... A, a, a wrestler. Can't name one other person um, in the original Roadhouse. Was that Terry Funk? Yes, yes, thank you. It was Terry Funk. All right. Who got beat up by Patrick Swayze and Sam Elliott because Sam Elliott is the man. Also, who is the mayor in... Uh, I thought that was the plate. I got scared to death. <laughs> what, what, what ties in uh, Roadhouse and uh, Family Guy? Texas Roadhouse. Sam Elliott, he's the mayor in co I don't know what's going on. He is the new mayor. He is the mayor in co Oh, yeah, Adam so, Pass. Yeah. Right. I got a question for everybody, because I've got this answer queued up, and this is the only time I've had an answer. This is the show. Let's do it. 80 celebrity crush. She was. And double it up today. 80s celebrity crush? 80s, early 90s. I remember you in your 40s. Kenny, do I have an 80s celebrity crush? 80s or 90s. Well, Hold on. I got to... I gotta think about this. But, not, but it's a two part because we can still do it now. Uh, Sigourney Weaver. <laughs> Sigourney. Sigourney. It's, a, it's, a, it's an ongoing joke. Uh, oh, <laughs> Professor Dana Barrett. Uh, Barrow? No, um, um, uh, 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 what's her name from, um, oh, that, sorry, I, I forgot it from the 80s. Uh, who's the boss? Oh. Sam. Which is. Sam. She was on number 210 at some point. Yeah. Right? That was that was everybody's 80 press at my age. Would you still commit? To I'm sorry? If your wife wasn't around? No. Okay. I have, I, if my wife wasn't around, I'd still have two daughters. Fair enough. If my wife's not around, I'm not going to care. <laughs> Listen. No, I'm not saying this because my wife's over there. It, 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 if something were to happen, and it wouldn't be a divorce or something like that, God forbid, if something ever happened horribly and my wife wasn't around anymore, number one, I wouldn't know F to do anymore at all. I wouldn't. I, I'm getting like my dad. I like I can't stand being away from my wife for two seconds, and that's real because we're never separated. Ask her. Have you ever seen us? We don't separate. Are you, you guys should be married. No, I, my my wife is the last person I'll ever commit to in my life. That's it. You know, that's a very respectable. Answer. Honestly, I, I would. I, I couldn't. I, I couldn't imagine doing anything else other than losing my effing mind. And my, but but that's the weird thing though, because if I lost my wife, I still have two daughters. So that that's hard. I would lose. I, I don't know if I would lose my my mind, but I don't know if I could lose my mind because I would still have to have two daughters and keep them in a family. Yeah. Would I commit? No, because she, I, honestly, and on a separate note, um, I'm, I'm a Republican again. Yeah. She is the farthest thing from Republican in the world. In fact, she's kind of like Hollywood, kind of like weird to me, like one of those weird people. Oh. Probably sacrifice children. No, I don't really believe that, but she's- Went on an island. I, I don't think I would ever commit to any Hollywood type of person because they're just kind of- Rolling zoinks. And this is from an entertainment standpoint, even for me, that's pretty over the top and, and crazy ego entertainment. I think Hollywood entertainment people are a little weird to me. I'm from the South. I, I just don't understand that kind of thought process. You know what I mean? I get that. I get that entire, it's hard to. I can't imagine sitting down and having a conversation with. You. Yeah. Plus, again, with my ego, I couldn't imagine being in a relationship with a different actor because it'd be like, "Hey, look at me, right, Kenny? Hey, look at me." I need everybody to pay attention to me all the time, and luckily, my wife pays attention to me all the time. So, I, no, I'm good. I'm good. Nova. Nova would commit to anybody because he wants to. What was the question? What do you think? What was the question? His Child, 80s crush. He, was, 80s, he wasn't 90s alive. Crush? He wasn't alive yet. Childhood crush, if you will. The Green Ranger. Wait, what's the girl Ranger? Take it. Pink Ranger? Pink Ranger? Mm, Pink Ranger was a girl, right? 
First crush, Pink Maya. Girl. The singer? Yes. From the Cisco and Maya video? So you saw the Cisco so and Maya video. that video, specifically, it's was all my, about me, Cisco and Maya. It was my first heartbreak. I know everything. Once I saw Cisco in the video dancing with her, I just broke my little five-year-old heart. So how dare you? When Oaktown 357 was still trying to make a push of music, you're going to jump ship and hit the Maya? Who? I hate you stopping. Jukebox Network. Who is that? <laughs> but would you still do it today? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Be, like, drop everything I got going on right now? Yes. Candy, who is your like 80s crush? if you crush? were hanging from a cliff. Hold on, Jason Patrick, right? I thought every girl's 80s crush was Jason Patrick. No, I thought Keeper was Southern one was hot. Oh, you're a... You're a Daniel fan over uh, David fan over Michael. Mm -hmm. I Google this. Wow. What show was that? Lost Boys. Lost Boys. Oh, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so, you're a wolf fan in Twilight over the Batman. No. You're a Team Jacob. Wait, Jacob uh -huh. was the wolf. I, you couldn't tell me, boss. No. It's a garbage. Movie. I'm not either. Or uh, if you're a David fan, you're a Jacob fan, I think. Really? Yeah, I can't believe it. Over Feldman's and Hames? Mm -hmm. Sutherland? The blonde dude? Yep. Over American Gladiators winners and Bill S. Preston Esquire? The only way I think that Orlando Bloom is hot is when he looks like the elf. You think Orlando Bloom is hot? Only when he's at the she elf. She also thinks Roman Bloom Reigns is hot. Well, Roman Reigns is a good looking man. But she also thinks Randy Orton and Roman Reigns are hot. I mean... Well, Roman Reigns is hot. He just looks like The Rock with long hair. What, old? And every other one of them. Whoa! All look the same. Let's settle down. Whoa. Whatever, Tamina's hot. She's a very handsome yeah, yeah. woman. Yeah. <laughs> that's, so, that's my Sigourney Weaver joke. Every time Sigourney, I call her Sigourney. Every time Sigourney Weaver comes on, she's a very handsome lady. Um, also, Glenn Close, very handsome lady. Um, who else is a very handsome lady? Jessica Lansbury, very handsome lady. Uh, let me think. Um, uh, Golden Girls, uh, Jerry Soros would get them. Very mad at me. If I, B. Arthur, very handsome lady. Yeah, Rue McClanahan, Estelle Getty, Betty White, very handsome ladies. So, I gotta say right now, because I don't want to leave you guys out. Who's the girl from the, who's the girl from the, uh, sorry, the, uh, the Weird Science movie? That was also an 80s crush, but I was very young. Mm -hmm. Just a second to Google it. So, for me, it was Winona Ryder. The Thief? Yeah. Winona Ryder the Thief. So you saw Dracula and you're like, this young lady that really needs to eat a sandwich is hot. No, I saw Beetlejuice. Eat a sandwich. And then I saw Mr. D. Hold on. Oh. Beetlejuice. So you're telling me when you see a handsome lady like Gina Davis, you're going to be staring at Winona Ryder? <laughs> Gina Davis is also one of the jokes. <laughs> All right. Except Kevin the last kiss good night. was the one from Weird Science. That's like, uh, as a young man in the 80s, that's like the first girl that you saw in like underwear was Kelly LeBron yeah. in Weird Science. But you weren't old enough to understand it yet, so I guess I could say, hey, that girl is good looking, but I didn't quite understand it. So Weird it. Science for me, I remember the show. I used to watch the show on Fox Family. See, I, I never saw the Weird Science TV show. Yeah, I used to watch that one. I didn't know that was a thing till right now. Fox Family. And there's so many people at Weird Science that the motorcycle gang alone, there's like icons of the motorcycle game. Yeah, they're just hidden. He's like, there was a motorcycle game? I it's saw that there was an accident in the movie, but that wasn't about it. Was what? this Canadian? No, it wasn't Canadian. Dark Angel, did you say? He's no. talking about his Canadian girlfriend. His Canadian girlfriend again. No. Oh, yeah, in Canada? Can did you know that um, <laughs> the captain has a Canadian girlfriend? She's my girlfriend. We're together, but she just lives in Canada. Don't she's you know? From, she's from Toronto, Ontario. Sorry about that. <laughs> Calgary. <laughs> Yeah, so this was the weird science from... I That's crazy, I do remember that. Because I, I remember him. He looks like the guy that's in the, the zombie movies now, or the Army that? of Thieves. So yeah, this was Fox so you're going to have to throw that up on the... That's on not, the I'm going to I'm gonna do that now. On the gimmick. And I think we talked about the Ferris Bueller TV show yep. as well. Wow. Popular TV shows that lasted for one season. TV show. What? Ferris Bueller. It's amazing. They uh, changed out Matthew with some blonde guy, kind of like a surfer. Yep. And I think that I think the only person in the TV show, if I remember, was the mom. I don't even know if that I can't, was still I can't the tell your name. One season, one se I don't believe it lasted a season. I think it was more like four or five episodes. Thirteen. And another thing was, it was a comedy show that came on 
right before Married with Children. Yeah, you can't top Married with Children. Uh, Simpsons was one of the scratch off smells. Okay. By the way, that makes sense. So it was I, it was between Simpsons and Married with Children. Married Children and Simpsons were still on Sunday night. So, so. <laughs> I remember. So not the like the scratch and stuff ones, but I remember like on Nickelodeon they have like 3D glasses, like that you would get on a bag of a cereal box or something like yeah, that. Yep. And then they'll have like a little logo come out, and they'll like for like two seconds they'll have like. Scarevision it was. Was that was that what it was? Scarevision. I don't think that the Nickelodeon was ones. Nickelodeon probably during Halloween time. Trying to think of what show that was. I remember Rocket Power had one. Your Nickelodeon is. Different than my Nickelodeon. Yeah, wasn't you're it? you're Nickelodeon. You See, can't, I got Nickelodeon. You, you can't had, do that on television. You had pinwheel. Wow, pinwheel, bro. Yeah. Taking it back. I remember the the snail. Yes. Oh, so creepy. I'm so getting, creepy. And uh, other than that, I don't remember my. Oh, um, uh, Bill Cosby was on pinwheel. Bill Cosby. We allowed to say Bill Cosby about getting demonetized. Oh, Picture page. Oh. Picture page. Mortimer Mortimer J Penn. And uh, what uh, else was on pinwheel? Noggle Vision, it was called. Noggle Vision, are you? Yeah, looking so stuff see, up? see Nick in 3D, September 22nd to 28th, every night at 8 o'clock. So here's here are the shows. Here's the lineup. You had Hey Arnold. Oh, you goodness. had the Mystery Files of Shelby Woo. This is so after I watched. That's the that's a gem right there. This is crazy. I well, know what Hey Arnold is. I can see it in my head. You got I've seen an episode of it. Oh. The Secret World of Alex Max. Ahead of its time. That was like first. First show to use CGI. I was probably watching Liquid Television and Neon Flux so early Beavis and Butthead. I missed both of those shows, so it was before my time. Brother. Kablam. Saw Kablam. Now, here's the heavyweight champ of the world. The Rugrats. Oh. I know what Rugrats is. Big obviously. Rugrats guy. That, that, was, that was the world champ. Still never seen okay. the Rugrats movie, by the way. Oh, no. I've got it on oh. Orange VHS. Oh, right. I, it's funny because I actually think I own the Orange VHS. It's one of the two Orange VHSs. I now cried. I'm trying to think of what the other one was. Hard. Both of them. But I don't, or maybe I have seen it all, but I think it was probably when it had just come out. Yeah, it's been enough time to, to forget a lot of it. <laughs> hmm, I don't think my children have seen Rugrats either, which is weird. It's, because, it's a great show. It was, I mean, it was a great, informative, fun show. It was. I learned a lot of life lessons from Rugrats. That means you. It's not school health Like well. what? Not to judge people. From Rugrats. You're yes. not judging people? Wait, wasn't like the older sister in Rugrats like count. all right. about <laughs> judging people? Yeah. Okay. Also, you're not judging people? I don't judge. Question. Just you. All right? Because I'm not going. Have you ever you seen... Gonna back off me. <laughs> have you ever seen Mr. Wizard? No. You don't know what Mr. Wizard is? No. Really? No. I'm a wizard. On Nickelodeon? No. You know what Mr. Wizard is? I don't. The science show? No. I, That's why we didn't watch it, because so it's about science. Basically, Bill Nye the science guy was like... Next generation, Mr. Wizard. I was gonna say, don't you say a bad word about Bill Nye. He's not a real Bill wizard. Bill Nye, the guy. <laughs> also, wait a minute. I, I got, I got a. You're gonna talk about not judging people. I gotta be honest though. Listen, you want, you want to do it here? Listen, you, I gotta be honest though. If you put Bill Nye and Mr. Wizard together, like, I, I can't under, I can't explain to you the level of how Mr. Wizard would like crush him in all things science. You, like, Mr. Wizard was like... You want to do it? Bill, Bill Nye watched you, Mr. Wizard... You want to go? ...and became Bill Nye. You, you if there was no Mr. Wizard, there You want to do it before dessert? Sorry? Is he, are we progressing stuff again? Yeah. yeah. You, you want to go? But, so I love guy. Bill Nye. Se second belt guy. Oh, yeah. I love Bill Nye. And <laughs> this is number two me? Number hey, two. Hey, settle back. Go. Number two. Because I, I Paul run the hell out of you. Number two. So? <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me do it like this. You lucky I gotta behave because so, I want dessert, so I'm gonna behave. But Bill and I would always be on when you have a substitute teacher. Yes. <laughs> that was the so, place. yeah, I think that. The, uh, the big TV I went to Chamberlain and Tampa. We basically had substitute teachers in VHS tapes teaching us for yeah. many years, so uh, that was every day for us. Mr. So Wizard. One time. Mr. Wizard. Yeah, oh, nice awesome. Week. Looking it up. So I used to wear nice clothes to school, like polo, button down. Oh, uh, you're yeah, nice. Yeah. I want to be Ric Flair. I hate you. Oh, everyone did. Okay. I hate you now. But Stop it. You're so rude. <laughs> Go. You're so rude. Listen. Make the heart gimmick. Yeah. I'm behaving because dessert's coming. But you look at Mr. Wizard yet? Keep going. So one time we had a sub that didn't show up. Yeah. I sat at the teacher's desk. They had Italian stuff? What were we talking about? Oh. No. No. Okay, I sat two teachers that didn't show up. So I write my name on the board. No. no. Well, hold up. Nerd. Listen, and when your substitute teacher doesn't show and you're writing at the board, I did. You're, you, shouldn't, you shouldn't be in class 
any more at that point, but go ahead. I understand you kids don't party. Put my name on the board, sat down. We just hung out and played on our phones. At school? Yeah. When the teachers didn't show up? But like, yeah. why? So my school was kind of in the in the middle of nowhere. Oh, so you went like to school like what my wife did when like there was 200 people and that was everybody. Not exactly. Oh. But. So you didn't have anywhere to go? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you were like uh, geographically isolated. Yeah, we were kind of stuck. That's pretty good though. That's like when we went to Jesuit private schools, like we didn't, we couldn't go anywhere. The only place you can go without behind the football field to do recreational activities. Right. And Under the bleachers, like everybody, right? Past the bleachers. Past the bleachers. Yeah. Yeah. At Chamberlain and Tampa, that would be considered under the Chiefs head. Everybody would understand. Ah, you were also the, the Chiefs. You were also the Chiefs. Your school was the Chiefs? Yep. Our school is now the Storm because you can't be the Chiefs, I guess. Anyways. I think Kim's school is still the Chiefs. <laughs> See? High Chief Peter, my view. Oh. I was the High Chief. Storm Thomas? Settle down. Hey. Settle. Calm, calm down. We don't say the S word. Unless he's doing a show on Nature and Show 4K Network about Fortnite streaming live eventually. Go, go in it. You want to do it? Wait, yeah, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! We're gonna be monetized for real. Listen, oh, not that kind of champ, champ. I'm behaving because I want dessert. Hey, you're rushing my wife, and uh, no. because of this, you're gonna. I'm gonna have a bad night if you rush my wife. Hey. I'm not rushing. I'm just saying, Starling's gonna get me in trouble. And I'm not gonna get dessert. You, you think you deserve dessert after this kind of rushing? You're rushing. What are the Russians gonna do? With I don't this? know. Collusion. 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 What that did well. I don't mean to get political, but 52. What was it, Candy? 52 service agents said that Russian collusion was a real thing. Just and just even though we know now that that was just collusion. Oh, okay. Look, might as well tell us. Is that the thing on so, Saturday? So, um, about a year ago, part of the the current representation of our presidency um, was centered around um, maybe saying that uh, ex president was involved in Russian collusion with this whole imaginary laptop that didn't exist, et cetera, et cetera, in an effort to destroy the government by maybe swinging some votes. And oh. they and, and they may or may not have won a couple votes. Maybe stating that, maybe not, maybe so, maybe not. And then now we find out a year later that, you know, there wasn't any said Russian collusion and that the imaginary laptop that didn't exist is actually a real thing as entered in evidence in the High Supreme Court of New York a couple of weeks ago. So this is a whole political thing that has to do with maybe, maybe not the Biden family and maybe, maybe not the Trump family. And that's mm. what collusion, there was lots of collusion, means of collusion, cohorting. Though. Ooh, coercing, cohorting. working together, cahooting. Ah, the cahoots. They, they were, they, they have been cahooted. Not collision, collusion. 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 You weren't crashing into people. We were colluding we're together. Collusion. Yeah. I don't know. We're getting high brow now. We're talking about collisions. Oh, Russians. Okay, right, so I want to give out a warning. Uh oh. Oh man. <laughs> what happened? It, they didn't set <gasps> as perfect as I had. Do, oh, what are we talking about? The dessert? <laughs> so, real talk. It won't be as perfect as a molded perfect. Real talk. My wife has never made panna cotta before. Um, it's going to happen from time to time. We're going to be here doing the podcast, and things that we try out aren't always going to work, but. The panna cotta pile driver. Yeah, but guess what? Guess what? Guess what? At least at least my wife is trying to make luxurious desserts for for a space captain and the king of Florida. And her, and her very appreciative oh, husband. I don't know what these guys are talking about anymore. Good guy. What Bible? Baby face. Who? Baby face. Who's baby face? Baby face. I'm the baby face in this story. You literally stole the championship from Jake and turned him heel. I kind of pinned him fair in the square. He literally stole the championship from another heel. And well, he's he's, he's still the bad guy. Got it fair and square. He's the bad guy. How did you win it fair and square? I'm the good guy. When I pinned him flat with my finish. And what happened the, the match before that, where he pins you that fair a, and square? That doesn't count. The, the one where you hit me with the medallion? I didn't hit you with the medallion. The medallion is falling in the other room in many pieces. <laughs> <laughs> it fell. Uh, that kid that we used. Mm. I'm a kid. I'm so sorry, Ashton. That kid, Ashton, that we used for uh, the little guy. Huh. That we used for. The, he dropped it. 
and it shattered into many pieces. There's a video, and if you want to watch the video of this guy whining and complaining, like, oh, hit him. I'm not going to work her. Hit him with something. You can watch on the on the um, that Patreon show 4K. Sounds like a whole Why are you lot staring of, at me, bro? Sounds like a whole lot of I'm not, collusions. I'm not the book. Right. All I know is I'm not the book, don't blame me. Like, the collusion? book told me to do it. Yes, that was oh, collusion. Wow. And even if I was the book when that happened, I'm not the book anymore, so I take no responsibility for it. The oh. collusion. And the book isn't your opponent for that match, so I can tell you right now that he will agree with me, and I did nothing. Well, that's when I got the belt. When's the next fight with this guy? September 19th? September 14th. 14th. September 14th, and it's not collusion. a strap match, or it's not a stupid what? match this time. Are we just having a match? No. I don't even know. I should know. As far as I'm concerned, it's a straightforward, pure wrestling. So, since you're the... Yeah, there we go. That. So just me? Let's, let's make It'll be me versus okay. Starling. Hold on a second. Let's preface. Let's preface. Title for title. You're a space captain. Hold on. Ultimate challenge. He's the king Alamo of Florida Dome. wrestling. I'm just going to keep talking over him. You know why? Title for title. Because I'm the boss of Florida wrestling. The most hated... The the mo I'm you're not. You're not in the... You're not on the show. I'm the only Oh, wait, you are on the show. You gotta work Jake. One of my children, Jake Painter. The animal it's not going to be a good show for you or him. Silver Spike. First of all, I'll whoop his candy. Whoa. Like, I'll make this easy. Let me excited. make this easier for both of you. Watch, this is what will happen. I'll help Jake beat your ass and take the belt back. I'll help August beat your ass and take that belt back. Look, that clears you guys both up for the next show. Then you can fight. Oh, Deal? It needs well, to be title for title at the Alamo Dome. August, let's do these guys a favor and somehow make sure. So at the, at the Rumble. My you know, check didn't change. I still get no money. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I never had a problem with him. You know, I never really had a problem with checks. <laughs> no, never had a problem with him. I've written one check in like 10 years, so oh. that's not even, that's, that's a shoot. I've written one check in like, two of the, I think the bank, my, my check book got stolen last time we did that show in Indiana, the, oh. the hell show. So when I called the bank, it was like, uh, my checkbook was stolen. When's the last time I wrote a check? This was in 2021. Yeah. They said the last check I wrote was in 2015. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, just close the check, but they're like, fine. So I wrote the check. Ago. I'm thinking you, me, Silver Spurs Arena, 20 hundred people in attendance. So you did see the debate last night. You're making up words. <laughs> 59 minutes. <laughs> no, I just heard president. Iron Man match? Iron last Monkey minute. match? Finish the splat. Finish your slap. You wanna go? Alamo Dome. Can you get the Alamo Dome? Yeah. Let's do it. Can I afford it? No. Can you get the Silver Spurs questions. Arena? Yes. Could you get me can orange, I afford it? No. orange tassels? Yeah, I can do orange tassels. Pasties? Yes. Like tassels? Yes. Okay. What are we doing? Maybe some face paint. We're doing a uh, Nova on a pole match? Can you draw? No. <laughs> I really can't. I thought you were not. Oh, you mean like butts and seeds draw? Yeah, I'm the only one in Generation Championship Wrestling that draws. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, in like, Florida, actually, I'm the only one that draws. What's your best picture you ever drawn? Uh, Putting you on the spot, Jeremy. This, what's the best picture? This side. No, what's that? Oh, like a picture. What's your good side? This side. The one about the nose ring. Oh, oh, that's. You never knew what that was. was. Yeah, I know. Oh, Little kids, when you do stupid things like pierce your nose in a high school bathroom with an ear piercing gun. Things like that happen after a while when you stick safety pins through them because you grew up in the 90s and you were punk. So, you that was hating on me my whole life thinking I have some... It's a hole. It's from a nose ring. I never... I don't judge. It's I watch your ass. It's a grown-ass man of putting an earring in my I nose watch, in the bathroom. I don't judge. That's yeah. right. With my... You were you piercing yourself, you said? Yeah, we, it was in the bathroom of Chamberlain with an ear piercing... Walgreens used to sell ear piercing guns. Wow. So the reason it's like this is, number one, it took two shots to get through. And number two, I had I came home with a uh, my nose ring, and my dad had told me my very born 1940 dad had told me don't get a nose ring. So I came up with a nose ring. Guess what There's happened? There's rebellion to that? here. Guess rebellion. what happened with a nose ring? Yeah. So now I have a scar for the rest of my life. And I told my daughter last night. She said, "Can I get a second piercing?" I'm like, "Hey, just stay away from the nose piercing." <laughs> number one, everybody has one. Real cool. Just getting flashbacks. Though. Yeah. Number two, you More don't. Flashbacks. You, know, you don't. Just, just keep the ears are cool. Oh, Everything man, else just leaves. Bathroom, stupid noise. high school bathroom. Yeah, man, I was a bad kid. Good lord. It, it was the '90s. Like, what year? When I did the uh, that was 1995. You know who was on top? Pro 1995. Okay. You know what? Was running Stone on ninety five. Diesel power. Stop. 
<laughs> you mean Oz? <laughs> Oz. Big Oz. 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 These are powerful. Oz. Big Daddy. You cool. Mean, you mean Shawn Michaels? <laughs> yeah, and his Deacon and his Deacon Diesel. Deacon Batista. Shawn, no, Shawn Michaels and Deacon Diesel. Two things. Oh, one wasn't born yet. What? Yeah, I was born in, in 1995. You weren't born. Yeah. Say it, please. Jeremy Gomez. Yeah, it's old. You're born in 1998. 98. I thought you were a little older than that, sir. No disrespect. No. Nah. It's wise beyond his years. No, I age like milk. That's the real one. <laughs> and two, you want to go? You want to do it? I want dessert first, so you need to back off, man. I've been waiting. You're rushing her? I've been She gave us a warning. And banging. She gave us a warning, and now you are trying to rush her about the dessert. Playing and banging. Eat my vitamins. Say my prayers. Why well, I tell you right now, pal. Finish doesn't work for me, brother. I... You want to go? You don't get creative in my place. Oh. Well, I show up with the red and yellow. There's literally no yellow, Red and yellow Harley? Dude. <laughs> well, and Hulkamania, so, brother. Well, and this old when Hulkamania came out, it was blue. Well, American My Hulkamania was baby blue. Oh. American made, brother. Bachwinkle blue. Big Bachwinkle. Huge Bachwinkle fan. Yeah, Bachwinkle was... Curl the beers? Oh. I'm kind of like him. <laughs> Sometimes I, I say Colonel the beers, I kind of look at Dove, but I don't think he knows what Curl the beers was. I Carl Sanders is. Carl Sanders. Do you? Uh, Nemeth? Do you? Ryan, Ryan Nemeth, right? Oh, yeah, 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 the KFC well, and I Kurt know, Angle. I know my wrestling and Kurt Angle. Ryan Nemeth, Kurt Angle, I believe Shawn Michaels did it at one point, too. Probably. I think Shawn Michaels did that little KFC yeah. gimmick at one point. I think so. What's the heat? Okay. Well, we, we need to, like, make, like, a ground rule, like, only, like, 15 of the same pond or 20 of the same pond or something like that. Because, like, what's the heat? It's just... Over. What's the heat? Everybody's gonna be. Are you getting shirts? I don't even know what the heat Do you is. Have, are you, are you selling, sitting. Are you selling gimmicks? Oh, are you? Yeah. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Can I get a free one? Maybe. Because I only have a good old boy's in a Starling shirt. Rather. I have a Nova shirt too, days. but it's a size small, and I am not a size small. Yeah, I read them. I said this is the only size I have left. Well, we, we were doing it for something. I, I wore it. You can't even tell, but it was so tight. All you can see is my beloved shirt. He was on TV with it. I was. That's right. And it was cold there too. So you oh. Real? It's not cold, bro. Those are called pecs. <laughs> those are those. Only met me. I actually had pecs, so I was working out and stuff. Then I got into wrestling. All of a sudden, I decided to work out again. You know, well, went downhill from there. If somebody would go to the gym, I have a gym. Okay. I literally have a gym in my garage. A lot of equipment in my garage. He I don't even make it out there anymore. He has equipment in his garage. My, my arch enemy, uh, Storm Thomas, was trying to get him back into the other day, and he's like, oh, 30 minutes a day on the bike and everything. I'm like, dude, I used to do like three hours on the bike, so I'm trying not to be in shape anymore. Right, baby? You yeah, like me. A, you like bike. me opulent, don't you? Opulent. I like you wherever you want to be. If anything happens, she can actually roll me out of the house. No fuss, no muss. Easy peasy. Lemon okay. squeezy. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say, well, you I was can't. Like, you said roll the house, correct. and I was going straight to Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Which one? The only one. Oh, here we go. If you say Johnny Depp, I'm gonna no. Slide. That's Charlie. Charlie. If you say Crispin Glover, I'm gonna agree with you slightly. I, I don't even know who that is. Crispin Glover. Crispin yeah. Glover. Huh? Uh, Thin Man in uh, Charlie's Angels. Oh, an oh. epic movie, right? Yeah. Um, uh, Marty's dad, Marty's young father in Back to the Future. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, Ep epic movie. He played uh, Willy Wonka when they did the little Willy Wonka. It's my, it's our chocolate festival video. He's doing it's my second yeah, favorite Willy Wonka. Thin Man from Charlie's Angels. Thank that you. Was a, that was a good one. That Thank you. Good one. I've got, I didn't like that one and Willy. Willy was the, the movie with the rats, the rat skis. Oh. I just saw the... What's your opinion on rat skis? I just saw Rats the remake the other day. I never even knew they made a remake. They make good pets. Uh, if you take care of them right, like... But you gotta feed them correctly. You really gotta be careful with them. You can't let them have children because then, you, <coughs> then you've got an infestation of rats in your house. Ah. Had a pet rat. To be clear, this isn't a wrestling conversation they're having. This is an actual pet rat conversation they're having. And I know what the joke was. The joke. It was a ring rat joke. Don't lie. I was getting to Michael Jackson. I could say that. I don't give a damn. Rat. I'm married. It was a ring rat joke. They were trying to make a ring rack joke. No. Gen yeah, right. How oh, rude. Genuinely, I had a pet rat. Rude. Ben? Rude. Was that his name? No. Ring rats have feelings. Not many. No. I'm a gentleman. Gentleman? And I would know. And a champion. And who is champion? 
and world champion. Not world champion. Of the world? That was that, you were making a ring ride joke. Of Puerto Rico. No. Who would dare have just like a ridiculous odd pet? What an odd pet to have. Pet rat. What was what? his name? What? Don't look at Night Fury. Charlie. <gasps> wow. What a, what a wow. southern boy name. Wow. He's going to go try to put over Willy Wonka, and then he calls his rat Charlie. When everybody knows your rat should be named either Ben or Splinter. Master Splinter. Master Splinter. Two-parter. Hamato Yoshi. Wait, that was the Shredder. No, that is Splinter. Splinter's Hamato Yoshi? I can't remember, yeah. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm doing the movie in my head, but it's sort of fine. Do you know what I'm doing? Yeah, no, yeah, no, no. It's not a Yoshi. Thank you very much. Anytime, Jeremy. That's why I'm here, brother. Color. Brother. Red is green. So, if you've been uh, listening to our podcast now for the better of two hours, I'm sorry. We've had, no, it's fine. We've had some uh, technical difficulties with the rain. We've had some technical difficulties with batteries. We've, uh, but we've pushed on because. You said not for it to be like two hours. I know, it could be four hours. And that's we're fine. at like two hours. We kind of I've seen up. Rogan do like a six hour podcast. Before. Take it easy. And everybody knows we're on the Rogan, we're on the Rogan level of followers and subscribers. And uh, no, where are we at subscriber right now? We, uh, we're 20... at 20... No, sir, we hit, we're over 34,000 this morning, uh, subscribers. I only go by the last time. 34,000 subscribers for the Nature and Show 4K network. 34. Now that the king of Florida wrestling, Daniel Four. Starling, is on, no doubt tomorrow we'll be at 35,000. That's concerning. We're 35. We've, we've been going up 1,000 a day, so it was going to happen anyway. Oh, perfect. Sure. You know, I just want to say, hey. We'll be at 35 subscribers. Because of Starling. They all unsubscribe. And Nova. And I'm Chef Candy, and definitely team. not myself. We're gonna keep raising that bar a thousand people a day. What do you think? You think we're gonna keep doing a thousand people a day? Yeah. Yes. Am I the promoter with the mostus? Sure. The mostus. Sure. The mostus. The mostus. The mostus. I'm very learned. Don't tell me my my. You're very brain. learned. I'm very learned. learned individual with the mostus. Very hip. That was totally hip. No cap. No. Good lord. <laughs> Jeremy Gomez. No cap, Ohio. Check your jawline. Have I missed anything? You know what you did miss? No. Desserts. Hop Tootie, that's amazing. No. No. We're no, no, Not like that, man. I think it's beautiful anyways because it's got Thank you, Miss Candy. homemade caramel. And uh, the strawberry, there's a strawberry reduction. So we're just all eating reduction. We have some edible gold leaf. Back off my stuff, man. Back off my stuff. There's, I'm gonna wait though. You've been what a gentleman. Luxurious. I am a gentleman. And I Miss Candy, like this looks beautiful. And I love this. The gold. Oh, yeah. My love, thank you very much. What's the gold stuff here? It's, it's edible. Edible. Oh, okay. Sure, we do things real grande over here. Grande. Grande. Real grande. Real grande. So what was the, the drink back in the day with the gold place in it? Gold slaughter. There it is. <laughs> Back in my day, because I'm old, we were, uh... Ooh. Oh, ooh. Oh, we had your good strawberry oh, sprinkles. Okay, ooh. some sprinkles. Look what's in frame right now. Ooh, my boobs. Would you stop it? We just got demonetized. Yeah, we demonetized. Got we should have, like, a scoreboard right here. <laughs> Count. Ding, ding, ding. Uh, thank you, baby. This is a uh, chocolate panna cotta with uh, freeze-dried strawberries. I'm sorry. Dehydrated strawberries. Some edible gold leafing. And um, I'm just going to get into it. She's some bourbon strawberry sauce, Lovely. caramel sauce, and chocolate sauce. And we made the caramel the uh, the new way that we learned how to make caramel. We uh, which is uh, sweet condensed milk in a um, oh goodness, what's it called? A horse is that? No. <laughs> uh, sweet condensed milk inside the uh, pressure not the pressure cooker, oh, no, the, um, the slow cooker. And you put it in for about two hours in the can, and when you open up the can, it's caramel. Tastes delicious. It's this lovely. So good. So, uh, the panna yeah. and the ramekin set perfectly out there. Those are done perfectly. Lovely. But these and the molds came out mushy. So these molds are just shit. Shit. You hear that? Mm. We're getting on Amazon later. We're writing a review of these molds, the and we're shook, but it tastes amazing. Stalin, what are you tasting right now? Initially, I got hit with the gold leaf. Mm -hmm. It's a regal. The chocolate, hint of caramel, I didn't get a big scoop of it. And then on the back end, all the chocolate. I'm just, I'm just glad that I can 
feel my belly this time because when we got to this point in the last <laughs> episode, dead. As, as good as the dessert was, it was I was trying my best to get it down because I just could barely move. But this is lovely. I didn't eat all the dinner this time to get to this. Thank you very much, baby. Thank you so much, Miss Candy. You've done a beautiful job as always. Without you, I wouldn't know what That's I was doing, and I would be burning every eggs I make. <laughs> <laughs> so, as we uh, attempted to do last time, we thought that. What's wrong with this guy? What's going on? Yeah, I'm waiting for the juice. Yeah, I was going to say thank you, Miss oh, Candy, okay. for the, the dessert. Thank you. Thank you. I just it, didn't want to speak with my mouth. It's lovely. We've been doing it the whole episode. It's uh, people are going to watch us eat when they're watching this podcast, so they're just going to have to review it. So. Um, but I think what we were trying to do last time is um, we were going to do the outro when we got to dessert, so people didn't have to watch us eat anymore. Yeah. So we're there. But but the last show, the the camera actually uh, gave us a go home. Gave us a go home, and it sounded funny, and the picture was out, so it sounded kind of good. But this time. I'm going to hurry up and do the outro before it cuts out on me and we'll do the same thing again. So um, thank you everybody for watching the Feed Our Minds podcast. Uh, we've sat down and uh, chewed the proverbial stuff with the king of Florida wrestling, Daniel Starlin. Uh, Chef Candy has done some amazing food work um, with the appetizers, the main course, and the dessert. Uh, the captain, Aaron Nova, is the host with the most, as always, and a good friend and a good person. So. Um, Make sure to check out what he does. Amazingly talented. Daniel, you're amazingly talented. That's why you're the champion of my wrestling promotion okay. right now. And I'm going to stop blowing smoke up everybody's butt and we're going to roll out. What do you think? Yeah, works for me. Fantastic. Hey, man. What's, What's the, the heat? heat? <laughs> and with that, we will see you uh, next time in about two weeks on the Feed Our Minds podcast. Thank you for watching. Hey.